everybody uh, i hope you can hear me uh, look who's here it's ivan with his trotsky beard and his <laughs> his plaid shirt reunited uh, well <laughs> both live by satellite and too hot for tv um two archaic broadcast exactly phrases. and <laughs> oh yes it will dark. be after dark soon which is appropriately spooky mm. spooky goblins <laughs> um so what are we going to be playing to tonight? Yeah, and by yes, we, indeed. I mean you. Uh, we're continuing from Dead Space Two, <laughs> which I started last week, or the week, but the week before last, I think, because it was the film screening last week. The week before last, on my own, and I thought, well, this seems weird that Ivan's not here, um, doing horror games with me. So, so I, I sent you a message. So here we are. It's hmm. about spaceman in space yeah. shooting the things. There's the things everywhere. Um, that we have to shoot. And yeah, by the way, Richard, you might want to wear a mask because today I have tested positive yes. for COVID. So I should have mentioned it earlier. You know, all the bits, all the series of tubes might have coronavirus. Oh, I shouldn't have even said that, should I? It's... I mean, we're going to do this anyway, because I'm definitely going to say cunt. Back and... I'm going to say cunt. <laughs> I'm going to say flaps. I'm going to say piss water. That gets us demonetized. Coronavirus gets us demonetized. <laughs> if I'm to believe the really low-grade <laughs> um, meme content that I read on pages with names such as Bored Panda on Facebook, uh, I think die and death aren't allowed either. Mm. Yeah, it seems most... Most of the cool crimes, <laughs> cool crimes get demonetized. Yeah, you can say tax fraud all you want. No, demonetize you. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> you can, exactly. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, viewers, if I start getting paler and paler, mm. it's it's because of that. And, Richard, if yeah. I go delirious, Nick Cage-level delirious, okay. fine. 
if I start Oof. to get Ezra Miller delirious, maybe yeah. take me if off the we, stream. If no, Ivan so. does go Ezra, level, Ezra, Ezra Miller level delirious, we will have to edit Ivan out of the new Flash film and replace him with the. Uh, we'll recast mm. him, obviously, mm. um, Michael Keaton in the new Flash film if he does strangle a woman in Denmark um, <laughs> or wherever it is. Ezra Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we, we shouldn't get on to. Yeah, we shouldn't get on to the live topic <laughs> so quickly, but how on earth? It's been like two years of him careening, you know, it's nuts. Because that thing with the Danish fan... Well, that was fine. Like, no that one talked fine about. assault on a woman, apparently. And yeah. then now we've... Well, now there's more than one. Oh, I don't know Weird. about that. It's like, well, hold on a fucking minute. Like, Jeez. Jesus Christ. Um, so, yeah, funsies. Funsy funsies. I've just adjusted my lights a little bit because there was a bit of imbalance. And I fixed that. Um, let, let's. So yeah, the uh, coronavirus has is now a computer virus, as you may have heard, has jumped to computers. And uh, if you touch your computer without yeah. washing your hands first, if your computer coughs, um, if you share a toilet with your computer or dine mm -hmm. with it, you may need to wear uh, masks and gloves. If you can't smell your if you computer, smell, if you can't smell your computer and your computer can't smell you. You may have, yeah, yeah, so, yeah exactly. Um, and if that happens, wave down your local. Was he called Shane <laughs> McLaughlin? What was what oh, was the guy from yeah, Bits? Sh 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 and Sean McLaughlin. Sean McLaughlin. Sean McLaughlin. Yeah. Sean McLaughlin. He'll, that he'll, sounds he'll, right. He'll help you. Um, if your computer <laughs> has a particularly your strong McLaughlin. gag reflex, you're going to have to help your computer just work through it, so you can get the swab right down the. It goes in the <laughs> headphone jack for a computer and that's how you know <laughs> we should we should uh you should do your traditional um shout well, out to, to people in the that, chat my man um let's have a look at who we got on we got a few people and i see 29 people in the room let's have a see who's popped in at the moment i see sean northridge and steve only popped in quite early talking of course about the very sad death this week of uh comics legend alan grant which we we acknowledge over here of course tm2yc i see you tm2yc i see sam duxbury who came to the um, top G please screening the other week and uh hung out and had a, oh. a, a beers with us yeah, that's really that's really cool. So I, I see Sam. Um, I see uh, Admin Ivan there, which is good. I see Omar Zamban. Uh, I see <laughs> Ben Riddings. Uh, I see. I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling like Fred Durst. Andrew K. I see you, Andrew K. Uh, I see John Doe. I saw Ryan Swayze. Um, I see Marco Marin. I see Dan Lyles. Uh, I see. Silhouetted Animator. Hello, Silhouetted Animator. I see Reese Prout. Or Reese Prout. I apologize if I mispronounced that. I see Sam Montgomery. Hey, Sam. How you doing, my dude? Uh, John Doe. Michael and Anna do stuff. And Annalise, hey. Michael. And they're, they're both the Michael and Anna accounts. Are, Annalise accounts are here. Um, yes. Oh. oh, Otto Sump, I see. Uh, I've said Ryan Ricardo already. Hey, Frank's here. Hello, Frank. Um, yeah. I think that's that's everybody I've seen. So um, I'm going to go in and be Isaac Clark. And I'm going to dismember some things, and Ivan's going to read the chat and just, you know, make sure I don't uh, die of spooky shock. Because um, this is a game that's exactly. in many cases of spooky shock, as you may or may not know. Um, spooky shock kills everyone. Spooky, spooky shock kills spooky everyone. Shock kills. Get. Get uh, yeah. An another if disease you can someone get. Uh, yeah. from spooky. If someone's suffering from spooky exactly. shock. Yeah. And exactly. If you and get it. If flag you get it, local... flag down your local. I can't remember that series with the two. I can't brothers. remember that series with the two brothers. Superna get Supernatural, Supernatural was it? Was... Yeah. yeah, and they'll help you out. All yeah. the disease and commissars in England are of TV celebrities, and uh, your spooky shot <laughs> commissar will come to your house and, and have you. They'll insist that you hang upside down to make all the spooky shock escape through your eyes because it is affected by gravity. <laughs> Um, right, so it's do tell best. me. If, That's true. It's, it's the best. The, That's true. I'm gonna have to bring the game down a little because it's drowning out poor Ivan, and we can't have that. Um, so I'm gonna bring the game down a little bit, so, and yeah, that I will help talk. protect me against okay, spooky I can talk. as well. <laughs> exactly. Not me to get spooky. Shock. <laughs> exactly. No I can't present if I've got spooky shock. Um, bring that down a bit. There we go. So I can hear Ivan. Uh, there we go. I'm no, here. I don't want to start. I want to accept changes. I'm here. Okay. Right. So the, the the issue here is whether or not I can remember how to uh, 
Oh, people are saying we're echoing. That's interesting. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Great. Oh yeah, echo alert. Oh yeah, echo, echo alert. Larry as well. And Echo Larry as oh, well. Sam with 899. Oh, Sam Montgomery with 899. Do you want to read it out, Richard, or will um, I? Do you uh, want to read it out, Richard, or will I? Echo. I might have to just kill the game audio. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh, I know what it is. So yeah, Sam cool. says... There we go. Oh, cool, cool. Yes, you want to go on. Read Sam's comment. Sam says, I've... I finally caught you guys live again. Last time may have been Alien Covenant. Commentary mm. premiere. Oh my god, that oh. sucks. I'm financially stable again, so green door is very tight. And that's That's obvious that you need the best thing. Excuse me. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked here. Hmm. Okay. We jinxed it beforehand. Yeah, his uh, his aim thing just locked and he wouldn't un he wouldn't un un aim. Just make sure. Okay. Just let us know. Game volume was way too high. Because this is the thing, last time I did this, everybody said the game volume was far too low. Bring the fucking game. I'm going to bring the it, game volume all the way down. It's the fun intricacies, isn't it? Yeah, this is. I'm going to go all the way down. So, uh, subtitles. The game is very loud compared to Ivan. Sadly, Sean, that's that's always going to be an issue. <laughs> um, you know, drag this down. I, I talk into myself at the best of times. Here we go. All right, I'm going all the way down. Let's try not to. Right, I've got my stasis thing and my telekinesis thing. All right, telekinesis. So yeah, that's a gun that it's the gravity gun from Half-Life. It's the it's the gravity oh, okay. gun from Half-Life. Basically, it's it's under any other name. Right, let's stick with the machine gun and this gun. Okay. I was thinking, like, with VR headsets. Mm. Personally, I reckon they have to design them so people can play them sitting on the couch. Right. I understand that undercuts a huge amount of what's going to be the point of VR, but... <laughs> well, it depends what the experience is, because if you're supposed to be like, driving in a car, surely, yeah. you know... And, you know, so many of these games seem to, you know, they have to do, you know, um, work around guns. <laughs> you might be getting drowned out again. I'm probably going to have to do something with the sound. It's very loud. Oh god. Okay. Well, hey, hey guys. This is all part of the cut for us. Full streaming. I'll try and kill a bunch of boosters. Run, man, run. Ah, he's moving really. Okay. Sorry, I just have to smash E again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> just smash that E. Am I missing something? Like he's constantly aiming the gun. Am I not supposed? I can't. Is this toggled or something? Okay, I'm gonna just take the sound out of it. There's something Let me see. strange as a foot. It's a highly entertaining stream of a man going, I better take the sound down again, a, a, a bit. The game's broken again and again and again. <laughs> hey, look, we're getting to that age where that's the appropriate kind of stream that we should do. Uh, aiming center classic. I guess it says it's a classic. Annoyingly with this, I found, uh, very annoyingly, that... Um, it doesn't work with a gamepad and it's kind of designed oh. for a gamepad so you kind of can but it, it doesn't like it because he... hmm, that does seem very strange uh, ben ridding says telekinesis enables isaac to grab acid spit at him and shoot it back at enemies oh nice Fantastic. sounds rather cool right 
Uh, okay. I need to look at the controls. Captain Mead's just... adventures. Does Captain Mrs. Mangle come back as the necromancer in the finale of Neighbours? <laughs> Was it today? One can only well, yesterday. Hope. I oh, guess yesterday. It's got, it's it's got a fucking caps lock on as bloody aim toggle. Oh, that's why I don't fucking oh. toggle. <laughs> right. Fuck this. We're yeah, Margot Robbie point. came back. Apparently Guy Pearce did as well. I think they all did. Well, I don't think Russell Crowe did. <laughs> um... <laughs> Margot right. Robbie, though. But, you know, Guy Pearce is a big deal. But... Yeah, he's, yeah. He's good on them. Guy Pearce was born they in Ely. Could, they couldn't have afforded them. No, mm. they've got... Guy Pearce was born in Ely. Just up the road oh, from Cambridge. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. True story. Mm. Right, here we go. I'm not stuck in caps lock mode. I might have a bit of a chance here. Well, yeah. Yeah, a chance lock. That's got to happen. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a very odd choice, because caps lock is kind of... It doesn't like Xbox pads at all. all the very frustrating. So I do kind of find... You know, it's so like about PC aiming, but you spend your whole fucking life trying to remember that Q does your fucking health pack or whatever. Run, you're coming in acid eyes, like, run, <laughs> run! Oh, it's so slow. It's covered in bloody acid. Right, is... So it's Paul Byron, so good name. His name's Isaac Clarke after Isaac Asimov and Arthur C. Clarke. It's all very subtle and clever. Oh. Right, I got... Oh. So, yeah, you might be sort of noticing, oh, the Resident Evil 4 sort of vibe of this. All those, all those poor people have to get blown apart. Press E again and 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 again. But oh, Dan Loss says uh, Margot Robbie skyped in for 20 seconds of screen time. Amazing. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's brilliant. Yeah, I heard um, Ric Flair is supposedly retiring again from wrestling, and he had a roast uh, recently, and or Ooh, last time. Beef. And The Rock turned up, but oh no! If only it was a good, a good old roast, a proper roast, but a comedy yeah. roast. And The Rock turned up, which means The Rock did, I think, a five-minute video on his phone. Mommy's on a beach. So they had to pay it they had to pay him to a <laughs> <Is that>? <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I th you know, I think you know, it goes it like like any true person from Fast and the Furious, it goes back to family. Uh, you know, Ric Flair worked with his dad and worked in his what's it, his grandmother's Federation in Hawaii and so yeah, but still, it's kind of when you hear, oh, the rock turned up, it's like, wow. And then it's like, oh, the rock did a video. It's like, oh, okay. I could do he's a video. And he's found you. Into the church, hurry. I don't think Ric Flair would want me on there. So <laughs> <I'm> like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, well he'd, be, he'd be lucky to have <laughs> you, mate, frankly. <laughs> As Stephen Allen says, it's one of the uh, what Alan Grant comics would you recommend to the audience? Apocalypse War! Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, 2000 AD, you know, Hidden Wagner doing Dread and Strunty Dog. Maze World, which was his own thing. Maze World, Anderson stuff. Oh, the shit, so much Anderson stuff. Yeah, Maze. Yeah, Maze World is really, really cool and quite, quite, I kind of want to say not 2000 AD, or it's not your usual 2000 AD thing. It's, well, it's, not it's from that creator own Particularly sci-fi. So it's kind of, it's very mm. its own thing. Yeah, because it's more of a fantasy thing, but it's all kind of existential and stuff. But, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'd say a bit like a less crazy prisoner yes if yeah you get my trip and it's all about them yeah. bringing back hanging because it's That's like you say existing mm -hmm. mm. and yeah and the anderson stuff in the later satan uh childhood's end uh what's it exodus exodus it oh yeah exodus is really yeah cool. yeah there's some really really cool stuff i'd love yeah yeah and yeah grant and yeah 
because of him and Wagner working together, you know, they are the backbone of 2000 AD. So mm-hmm. yeah, if what when did they stop with dread together? It's it, there's there's quite yeah. there's quite a oh we got um Sean Northridge just did a super chat. Um, it's when at the end of Oz because Grant Cash wanted uh, Dread to shoot Chopper in the back, mm. and, uh, and, and uh, Wagner wasn't into it, and that's when they kind of they they, they divorced and split up Strunt Dog and Dread. Yeah, so what's that kind of eighty six something like that? Yeah, I don't know. So kind of like any Dread before the mid eighties is Grant Wagner, and yeah, then you have Strunt Dog after. Um, yeah, so yeah, guys, just check it out. He's awesome. He did a fair amount of stuff in America, but I think he did a ton of Batman. Well, I yeah, so. uh, and yeah, and a few kind of creator-owned things as well. I haven't. I might have read some of his Batman, but yeah, so I can't say much about his American stuff. But I'm sure it is cool. Uh, yeah, Sean, thank you very much, Sean. Uh, glad to see the boys again. Did either of you see Rob Leefield's rant this morning about today's comic artist being entitled when he can't draw themes? <laughs> <laughs> no. Rob Leefield's never going to live that down. Ever. To checking that out. He's never going to live that down. <laughs> He's such a weird dude. I really remember. <laughs> well, <laughs> I remember. What this reminds me of is there was. Uh... A French and Saunders sketch from really early on, where they're, I think they're pretending to be uh, uh, Gilbert and George. Oh yeah. Kind of, you know, a, a, a bit before young British artists, but kind of, you know, BBC Two interviewing edgy British artists. Yeah, yeah. And one of them's like drawing a person, and then I think their hands are behind their back. Oh, why did you do that? And then Dawn French goes, He can't draw hands! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, lovely fields. I just saw it think of that. (laughs) Bless him. Oh, it's just all this stuff in Leafos Leafos comics. Oh, uh, James Morgan. Hey guys, always good to see you doing some video gaming. Well done on the upcoming release of Touch Your Bleed. Thank you, James. That's the Super Chat 449 yeah. for James. Thank you so much. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Hold on. Oh. Ooh, what doesn't sound good? I think we've got some things, mate. I think there's some things happening. Something, uh-oh. That's no good. I don't want any uh, There's a ba- bunch of uh, Baron Zemos in here. It's just Baron Zemo's everywhere. Oh, don't worry, I stomped his legs off to stop him being a Baron Zemo. <laughs> That's good. That's it's the only humane way. <laughs> you know, the the only way to kill all these Baron Zemo's is to kill the head Baron Zemo first. And the other, then the other Baron Zemo's will die. It has to be done. It has to be done, indeed. Is this doing what's necessary? Is this the objective? Uh, what's I going to say? Oh yeah, I today, as part of my... Oh, hey there, Adrian Mendoza. Mendoza! Uh, as part of my... Oh, Jones Morgan, it's 449. Thank you very much. Uh, just wanted to say thank you for your previous watch parties. They really, really helped me out during the rough part of my life, and I'm immensely grateful. Oh, you're Thank very, you well, very much. Thank you, James. Um, they'll be coming back soon because Duncan's built a, a, a garden office. Cash back. Ooh, has he? He has. Not with his own he's, hands. He's but... made. He's made a a, a father's wank. <laughs> a masturbatorium, if you will. Okay. I'm going to the shed for <laughs> 45 to an hour. <laughs> do not knock on the door. I repeat, do not knock on the door. I'm doing important tasks. <laughs> This Dad, is all dads and their heads. I've always. I remember a friend whose dad's shed had a big lock on it because he did keep a motorbike in there. Yeah, sure he did. But still, <laughs> I bet it was, it was a big. <laughs> still the, like... the, the motorbike was made out of chocolate and wrapped in foil. It's just hollow. <laughs> it's, just, it's just an excuse. <laughs> it was a great oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I just got, I got 
things. I got things. Ah, get off me. Big old sacky beastie. Yeah, but kind of middle-aged white celebrities really seem to think everyone's a snowflake or they're going to get cancelled for everything. <laughs> yeah, oh, gotcha. It's quite amazing. The Undertaker was Undertaker from WWE for any listeners who aren't cool like me. Uh, <laughs> um, he he was like, oh, I'm not sure I could say this, or maybe I'll get cancelled. But I used to wrestle jobbers, and it's like, what do you mean saying jobbers is going to get you cancelled? <laughs> you can't even say jobbers you anymore. Talking about? You can't even say jobbers anymore, <laughs> it's mate. Just... It's political correctness gone mad. Like, oh, Richard, you know, like as a director, you can't say cut anymore. No, you can't. You say have cut to say, anymore, please, can we all cease? You can't say. So you have to say see, So you get arrested by lesbians if you uh, if you say cut. Everybody knows that. Exactly. You get cancelled on Twitter. Everybody exactly. knows that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's bad. Oh, sorry. Yeah. This is a real conversational cul de sac. Sorry. Yeah. 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 And obviously, it's <laughs> it is, it's it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's. Uh... I did find with this. It was a bit weird. I came into the game and it just seems in the kind of. Uh, weapon buying area let's say of the game the kind of shop thing it just had everything mm. it had like everything and i was like well, i don't know where to start there's no sense of progression and i don't know if this is because you know this is some pc version bought way after the fact or something where they just give you everything but uh oh uh, uh, yeah that's a good shout actually I don't, yeah, this I isn't reckon, the default I suit i don't think i think i bought like some kind of mega hyper suit 2000 so now I'm picking up ammo I for stuff. <laughs> I was in 2000. I'm picking up ammo for shit that I don't know how to use and whatever. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I just broke. I just broke to that door. It's the objective this way. No, so let's go here because it'll be good. He said. Oh, this is just a shortcut. It's a pretty spiffing suit, I have to say. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It is a cool suit that he's got. So. Isaac Clark is looking like a real fancy boy, and he's got some sort of rainbow light. Is that? Oh, so yeah, this is a little thing that shows you where to go, so you can uh, choose, which is quite nifty, so it avoids that. Yeah. So I think games had a while to shake out, like Max Payne 1 and 2, as much as I love them, they were a great example of games where you could just get lost, and you'd be mm. running around forever looking for a, a grey switch, or, or similar, you know what I mean? And these oh, kind that's of... the thing about the art of... Oh, oh carry on. No, I, was, uh, I didn't have anything more to say, really. <laughs> just... I was just going to say, that's the thing about the artifice of games. You know, there's always the talk about, oh, this game's even more lifelike. And it's like, well, that's not what we want. We need to have a, an artifice to the games, or else you end up wandering around lost. And well, no we've, one wants <laughs> we've talked about this before. That. It's the fucking, like, oh, look, you know, uh, fucking... Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 has a post office mechanic and and GTA 4's mm. take your cousin bowling problem and you have to take your girlfriend on a date and stuff mm. and it's like no I want to fly around in a helicopter and blow up a truck I don't want to have a relationship in a video game like you know it's... yeah and that's I think kind of like what I was saying with VR it's like yeah it's all well and good that oh I'm standing up and I'm waving my arms around but it's like really there are very few games where waving my arms around is going to substantially improve <laughs> me feeling like I'm Mike Tyson beating up a... Well, this is it. I think there's a lot to be... There's a lot... We've got a long way to go. I do think, fundamentally, there's a lot to VR that's good, but I think we've got a lot, a long way to go. I think it's things such as... Something I've often said, it's like... Uh, there we go. Um... Ones where you're in a car and you have like, or a spaceship or a tank, and you have all the controls mapped out because the controls can just be a wooden board with buttons on it. But as long as the virtual mm. is mapped, you have that completely tactile experience. And and what I'm gonna say here goes against what I've just been moaning about. But being able to look behind you, that's such a game changer. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, well, it's it's, it's not, totally kind of intuitive. Looking though, but... behind you. Yeah. Yeah, and for like hurricanes and stuff. Jesus Christ. That's the, the times I've gone on it, what I've liked is the ability to naturally use my head and vision, which is kind of problematic for people such mm. as you and I, because we both have 
somewhat limited vision, right? So it's kind of mm. annoying. But there are adjustments that can um, be made. You know. I, it scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Recently, I realised just how short my vision is. It's like, oh god. But it's all good when I get my robot eyes in the year 2035. Get your, get your Geordie visor. Get your Geordie <laughs> oh, LaForge visor, mate. That's, uh, I would love a Geordie LaForge visor. It sort me right out. Uh, what do you call it? Um, what's it called? Lower Decks is going to Terrak Nor. It is. Yeah. In season three. I can't think it was quite cute when they had that thing about, you know, I'll oh, just keep flying around the pylons. It like you're in a state of wonder. I thought that was quite cute. Um, you know, well, that's the thing. I haven't seen, is, like, is it a trailer or something? But I <laughs> no, I think it's just a clip rather like, than a trailer, I think. Uh, like, And yeah, that's, that's a nice, yeah, that's a nice little... I don't want to say dig, that's a bit too harsh, but nice little, yeah. It's done so sort of respectfully. Just... Yeah. yeah, it's just like... Oh. I can understand why people on PS9, but it's also like, do you really? Lower Decks, I think, is quite fun, but... Yeah. I kind of like DS9 big on its own. It's... It's, it's like the cool uncle. It's a bit like Liam. And when we get like Mariner going like, Ooh, well I beat Ben Sisko with baseball and I'm better in security than Odo and I'm a better <laughs> for ring. It's just like, okay, okay. you're going to high five everybody and do a backflip. Okay, I get it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's a spooky nurse. Spooky. Oh no, it's my spooky dead wife actually. Oh, she's swallowed a torch, I think. Oh no, you're fine. Very good. Just been tripping out again, Richard. I've, Skype, Skype's made you into a small boy, and I'm not going to stand for it, so I've made you into a normal sized boy. Made you into a little postage stamp okay. sized person. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy. My name's Arthur Williams, and I'm a big boy. Big boy's got to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Henry Glennon. Uh, fun fact, Gungans canonically have two anuses. <laughs> it just didn't come up in the course of the films. I like it. <laughs> well, it wouldn't it be nice for a Gungan to meet a Klingon then? <laughs> That's everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on a minute. Am I... as a bench this way. I'm... Am I just opening up shortcuts? I feel like I'm just opening up shortcuts. I'm just going to truck on. Uh, people have been asking if you have seen... Uh... Strange New Worlds. No, I should I should check it out. I've enjoyed I've, it thoroughly got... so far, as I've said. I've enjoyed it very much so far. Mm. Have you got how far into it are you now? Six Is episodes. It coming out weekly, it's or? coming out weekly, yeah. Mm. I've watched six episodes. There are eight out on plus, but there's ten total I've seen six. I've really enjoyed it. It's the best new Star Trek thing by quite a margin. Mm actually does Star Trek stuff and isn't busy trying to go like, here's Khan's shoelaces or whatever, though it does have a character who's related to Khan, which I think is utterly unnecessary. Um, Smarn? Smarn, yeah. Smarn, Smoony and Sming. Um, <laughs> Smarn, Smoony and Sming. <laughs> they really, really bent over backwards for that one. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed it a lot. I've enjoyed it a hell of a lot, actually. Um, more so than I expected. I know part of it probably is just that the bar's really low. I don't. I don't know. No, but yeah, no, um, yeah. I should. I should give it a go. I've been. I watched all of Yellow Jackets, which is really, really What's cool. Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets is about a, a high school football girls football team in America in like the mid 90s go to nationals and, <laughs> and and while they're going to nationals they're in a plane crash and end up in like the Rockies forest or you know Jesus big forest in America and they're lost and then it's set then with them trying to survive and then in the present where with characters who were lost and them kind of being in their lives now it's really weird and crazy um i'd say in a way it's a bit tried to say this in a way i think it's a bit like lost you know it's not super i think ass, someone's like been talking lost about lost. yeah someone in the press was saying like oh it's like a good it, lost or whatever 
Yeah, yeah, that is the easy thing to say. And it has come up in streams before. Oh, shit. Um, and oh, yeah, this... yeah, and it's really cool. The only problem was, I started watching it when I was flying to Canada, because it was on the flight to Canada. And thankfully, I stopped watching it. Because <laughs> the first episode has a plane crash. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan Cash of plane back. crashes in in uh, onboard entertainment. Yeah, that's unwise. <laughs> it was unwise. <laughs> yeah. When I watched um, The Boys came out, do you remember, when I was in America? And I watched it between, because mm, yeah. you were like, oh man, you've got to watch the show The Boys. So I, watched, I binged it on... Um, on uh, ah in the hotel when I was away working and it's like well I've got a flight in like two weeks and this is a really unpleasant um, depiction of a plane crash I am going to die mm. you right? Sean Northridge five pet, five euros thank you very much ah. says Richard watch yellow jackets for God's sake do it am I pressing E or am I just dying here so oh, I'm just dying here you've been cold. right okay so he's around Let's get in. Let's get in. I need to get something a bit. I need to use something a bit more heavy duty because these little fuckers hide from you. <laughs> but yeah, so Sean says, do watch Yellow Jackets. It's also got Juliet Lewis and Christina Ricci in it. Oh no shit! And uh, all the cast. Yeah, all the cast are great. They're the only two that I think I know. But the young characters are really good. The grown-up characters are really good. It's a lot of fun. But I do need to do need to check out Brave New World. I really enjoyed the Beavis and Butthead movie, though. Oh, I watched that eventually. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. What did you think? I yeah. liked it. It's a bit a bit too it's, similar it's to the really... original one. Um, in that they're on the run <laughs> yeah. and stuff. But then again, it's more Beavis and Butthead. So who am I? The animation style is quite different as well because it's by Titmouse. So like the rest of the characters don't really look like Beavis and Butthead characters. Oh. Um, it's Titmouse yeah, to do venture. I didn't realise but... it's Titmouse. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, cool, so, but you know, hey, look, who I... was it? Yeah, I think the guy, the guy who runs Titmouse, used to do an MTV animation I really loved, which I can't remember uh... whether it's Downtown or Underground or something. So I'm really happy he's got a really successful company after <laughs> doing a show <laughs> that didn't run very long. Yeah, because it wasn't directed by Mike Judge either. Um, oh no! But you know, he he co-wrote it, and obviously he's in it. Um, but yeah, I like to say a lot. It's a lot of fun. You know, at the end of the day, it's more Beavis and Buttheads. I'm not really gonna. No complaints here. You know. <laughs> no, definitely. Oh, what was I was gonna ask? I'll ask you, mm. and also the chat. I didn't realise David Fincher did a film called The Game. Yes, this is kind of with Michael Douglas. Uh, yeah, have you seen it? Uh, not for a long time, but yeah. Yeah, I watched the trailer and I was like, yeah, this looks kind of cool. I want to watch this. So, uh, yeah, if anyone in the chat has any views on on the game. Um, yeah, because Fincher's just so much fun. Oh, yeah, he's David Fincher, you know. Fuck's sake. There you go, you bastard. The big pale boy. Got one. Oh, right, he's coming at me. Ooh. He's got a stand your ground with Coming right at us. Kieran Fremantle says, I need a Dario revival. Well, you can watch Only Murders in the Building, and Selena Gomez, her performance is basically Dario. <laughs> also, Dario's in the new Beavis and film, but it doesn't say anything. Oh, <laughs> she's in the oh, background. I... Oh, yeah, I don't think I noticed her. Oh, yeah, I, I, I love Dario. Sorry, it was a awesome show. <laughs> okay. Give me my monies. Oh, Ben Ridding says stasis the necromorphs in this area and then force drop them. There you go. Uh, yeah, Ben. So Ben was really helping me out last time. I haven't been reading Ben's hints because he was really helping me before. Oh. Well, Mike and Adrian both say the game is cool. And Sam Duxbury also says, watch the game, Ivan. It's awesome. Fucker. Oh, and Henry Glennon says, hoping that Strange New Worlds does the next-gen thing where it snaps into focus and finds its identity in Season 2. 
fuck's sake. Okay. You there? Isaac, I can unlock the elevator. Can you do anything? Well, yeah, everyone seems to like, uh, okay. seems, seems to like the game Ryan Ricardo as well. Oh, oh, Ivan took over. Oh, yes. I, I've become the big camera boy now. Oh, my God. This is the thing. Ooh, Look, uh, Skype, oh, I, no, no. I need to find a setting for this. Skype, like, adjust the bitrate and then adjust the resolution accordingly, and it's really irritating. Um, <laughs> it seemed to not happen for a while, and then it started doing it on streams with Duncan, and it's really fucking annoying. But anyway. Uh, well, it's it's not because I've gained Skype sentience. So <laughs> don't worry about that. Are you sure? It could be because your computer's got COVID. <laughs> it could be, exactly. Oh, shit. I'll wave down my uh, shape of block then. I can't remember how this works. Over here. Oh, you must have finished with uh, the final neighbours episode. I hope Kyle McLaughlin. Sorry, yeah. Kyle McLaughlin. I, I hope he was in the final episode. Ah, I can't imagine he's busy with that. Won't he be cruel? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he he's got a herd of goats. In oh, that would be amazing! <laughs> Come on. They always let you go down to the line with those fucking hacking mini games. Okay. Mm. Oh, Micah Brooks says a good double feature: the game and Game Night, which is pretty much a comedy version of the former. Oh. Interesting. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go for the objective and die, shall we? Let's do that. A river gun. Well, Kieran says Brighton or Cambridge, which is better. There's only one way to find out. Bye! Uh, yeah, my we're gonna have... This new, one of the new, like, you know, we follow the police cops shows. There's a new one out on BBC, I think, that's set in Brighton. Mm, <laughs> yeah, Brighton Night Cops. Is that right? So my mum turned that on halfway through, and she's like... <laughs> Did uh... she ring you right away? <laughs> <laughs> I got a text, bless her. She was kind of like... I'm watching that placing on BBC and I realised halfway through it was set in Brighton. I thought it was supposed to be nice, it looks really rough. And I was like, yeah, Brighton's a shithole, but I live in Hove. <laughs> it's, a <bit> better. <laughs> it's a bit better. Not much. Luckily, my mum doesn't watch the streams. Not much better, but it is a bit better. Um, which is I nice. Find, yeah, Brighton I find weird. You know, because Brighton's obviously way bigger than Cambridge. But, you know, you'll have like a Tuesday at 10 o'clock and just walk around the centre of Brighton and it's really dead. Mm. Just, you know, obviously mm. that's not always the case, but I just find it really strange. It's like, uh, yeah, it's mad, and then on Saturday and Friday it'd be ultra, ultra, ultra busy. Like, mm. you know, Karate Bananas busy. Yeah. So, yeah, no. But yeah, no, Brighton's a very really nice place. Cambridge yeah, yeah, it's is, a lovely place. It's just... Cambridge is just kind of weird. It's good, yeah. Cambridge is an odd one, it's just a strange little bubble. Oh yeah, and silhouetted animated. Cambridge is definitely better than Oxford. Oh god, gotcha. yeah. without saying. $25 from Colin McQuaid. Whoa, thank Colin! Thank you very much. Holy cow, thank you, mate. It's what happens when you bring a hyphen back. Cash back. <laughs> <laughs> Colin says, just doing my civil VVB duty. Hope you guys are doing well and it's been a productive summer. Thoughts on Prey, the new Predator movie. It's out Missed on your Friday. Last stream, so sorry if you already talked about it. No, no. Yeah, what do you not. think about Prey? Well, I don't know. Like, this is yet another thing of like, remember all those Terminator movies we kept getting? <laughs> remember all these <laughs> like movies we keep getting and they're not good? I mean, it, do you know what? It's a novel concept, right? You know, you know the, the setup with Prey, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's... like Comanches fighting a predator in like the 1800s or something um which is did great you hear, did you hear about the dialogue yeah well, there's two versions there's yeah. one in kind of native uh, language and there's one in english and i'm like hey that's fucking rad that's really cool that's a cool i like when people do things you know when you see someone do something with a movie that they don't have to and it's like oh you've gone to this effort because you know, you think it's important, and sadly, that can be quite a rare thing. When <laughs> yes. It comes yeah. To, you know, kind of... Yeah, I I think it's it's been getting some good reports with the screenings. You know, 
Good, I hope it's so. It's hard to know. We're getting it on Disney Plus on Star, which is great. Mm. Um, but I'm, I'm also yeah, a bit like, well, is it just going to be the first Predator, except she beats it without guns or whatever, which she did in the... I, I don't know. I'm going to have to watch it. You know what I mean? I'm not really sure quite what we're getting, much less what we're saying. Yeah. You know. It's... Yeah, you need to have... Or you would hope it will feel like they're doing something fresh, and no matter how cool Predator is, it's kind of hard to find fresh things to do with it. Yes, exactly. I think it's quite. it's got quite limited. You can talk to me all day about whatever fucking comic expanded what happens on the home world or whatever, but in terms of making a two-hour movie, you need to have something interesting to say. Um, but hey, a third good Predator film. That'd be great. <laughs> that would be pretty good, you know. <laughs> That would be pretty good. It's, you know, controversial discussion about how many good Predator films there are, which... <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. Everyone, everyone's got their views. Oh, I see a Worms T17 in the chat. Worms T17. Nicky's here. What's... Um, I'm in a fridge, Ivan. You're in a fridge? I'm in a fridge. Or some kind of freezer. Uh, I'm low on health. Typical Boris Johnson. <laughs> I've been asked some difficult questions during the election cycle, so I'm in this fridge. I'm not going to kill the xenomorphic parasites. I'm going to hide in a fridge. <laughs> I'm going to hide in a fridge. Okay. Let oh, Stephen Allen saying Zombo movie. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Finally. Uh-oh. Lots of zombos here. Ooh. Do you know, I was just trying to think who would I cast for the voice of Zombo. Because oh. I think... Oh, that's Do you want to hear? Yeah, go on. And I'm not saying it's... I First thing that came to my mind, and I think it worked quite well, Will Ferrell. Right, okay. I think he should be British, though. <laughs> oh. he, use, he uses Britishisms a lot, I think. And he says hello with a U, I think. I mean, my... my I would go British. And I feel like it's waiting, it's calling out to me. I could be wrong. We have to ask Al Ewing, but he's on a big pile of Marvel no, cocaine, no. probably. <laughs> Well, that, you know, it's often the thing with um, 2000 AD stuff, where, like, especially as a kid, I would never really comprehend if they're meant to be British or American. Mm. Yeah. Because I think, like, when I first read Strong Dog, I probably thought they were American. I thought Judge Dredd was... Because stuff like Mil well, Milton Keynes meant nothing to me. I thought Judge Dredd was British because like, yeah. I was, you know, nine, and it was a British comic. Mm. Peter Serafinovich mm. says Steve Allen... Peter Serafinovich. I, it's a very good show. And he could play him as well, which I, you know, <laughs> I can see. Dan Lyle says Statham. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, mercy. Whoops. Statham, fuck that up. Statham going completely balls out. Uh -oh. That's a big angry boy. Why then? Well, I think both are very good shouts. Oh, fuck. Hey, he's got guts full of acid. Uh, Billy Mount. Yeah, Prey will be available on Disney Plus in the UK. Yeah, and under Star, which is just an arbitrary division in Disney Plus, isn't it really? It's basically more grown up Fox. Well, John Doe says Ezra Miller. <laughs> Oofed. Oofed. Good luck. He, with, good luck with that, my man. Although he, he is starting to get a kind of skeletal type. <laughs> but Zombo's quite a hench, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's a hench boy oh, in yeah. red pants. He definitely hasn't got the henchness, but cut of his face in the kind of sunken cheekbone. And Riddick so. says, how about Daddy Dyer? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. I know you're annoyed. Oh, shit. I think it's actually half. That was probably a bit unnecessary. That was a more bog standard enemy than I thought. Marco Maron, good shout. Calling it now. Ray has the old Predator from Predator 2. Do what? Oh! Well, yeah, bollocks. It's a six shooter. Uh, it's, a, it's a flintlock. Mm. It's a flintlock. Mm. So, like, give me my Predator. There, I think there's a comic where that Predator fights some pirates and gets that gun or something. <laughs> Don't believe But that's just some comic or whatever, you know. Uh, right, I'm going to fucking line launch these rats. I can't remember what the secondaries are on any of these guns. 
The problem with this game is I don't really know how to play it, and, that, and that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Old Thomas Carter says, talking of stay the stat. I watched Blitz the other day for the first time. Ah, oh, Blitz Funny is Funny how a ten-year-old film can feel so dated. <laughs> yeah, because it's based on a twenty-year-old book, I think. Blitz. It's based on a sort of an older mm. novel, I believe. I, I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, it's one with Paddy Considine and, and Statham. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. It's cool. I, I like uh, Hummingbird's the one I think is the, like the genuinely quite interesting Statham film. Ian McGar. Got Ian there McGar go. in a house. Hello there, Ian. I think, I think, is it called Wild Card? I think there's one where it's set in Louisiana or oh, something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one. Oh, I remember that being better than I That's the it. one that Statham got made, I think. I think that was like the Statham oh. Passion Project thing, I'm sure. And I think that has Goss in it as well. Yes. Nice. Whichever is the acting Goss. I never remember which. Oh, what does that do? Oh, what does what do? I just launched a thing that made a bunch of racket. Oh, <laughs> and it's oh plasma energy. Thank you. I've got grenades somewhere. <laughs> Ian McGarth said Terminator v Transformers and Power Rangers v Godzilla was fun. <laughs> However, because the conversation was cut, I just saw the line Rangers v Godzilla was fun, and I kind of thought, oh, jeez. That's a, that's a strange football match. <laughs> Rangers versus Godzilla! <laughs> it's unfair on Godzilla because the ball is tiny compared to him. <laughs> he has yeah. a very dexterous toe. <laughs> it is true. Eat one of these. I don't know what this does. I think that's the bit of fire. Oh! It turns it into bits. Yep. Yeah. Blows up it's everybody's. <laughs> It's a timed mind that cuts enemies apart, says Ben. And players. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, ben was so fucking on point last time, man. He he, he kept me <laughs> kept you on the straight and narrow. He's, he's keeping it up. Huh. <laughs> Captain B says, what about the movie where Statham milks a predator's milky glands? <laughs> <laughs> Milk's a predator's milk. Yeah, people don't realise that predators have milk. <laughs> predator's <Hold still>. milk. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to team up with you, but first I've got to milk your milky gland. <laughs> okay, all of this. I've been very cavalier with secondary modes and it's just used everything up. Stephen says Do you think the boys would be a good starting point for people to read martial law? Now, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, whoa! Martial law is all the fucking way out there, though, isn't it? It's so. I've tried to read martial law recently as an adult, and it's very oh. Pat Millsy, and it's like, oh, I'm just going to stand here and have a 10 minute mon the equivalent of a 10 minute mm -hmm. monologue about whatever Pat Mills was thinking about at the time. <laughs> so, it's, I don't know. I think. Yeah, I think. I'm not sure. Boys is a good primer for it. You know, obviously they've got very similar kind of ideas, but I think really kind of someone having a bit of background with kind of Marvel DC malarkey in general is better to kind of prime you for Martian Law. Mm. But Pat Mills and Kevin O'Neill, if you're not used to them, it's very hard for anything to be a primer for either of them. Yes, know. yeah, I mean, <laughs> fucking, because, like, reading anything, particularly reading martial law when I was a kid, and just, it's not just, it's not just the words, it's what fucking Pat Mills writes. Uh, it's not just what Pat Mills writes, it's the way Kevin O'Neill makes things look. It's, like, genuinely horrifying. It's, like, really <laughs> scary, just, like, oh, my God, that thing's got guts for a face. It's got eggs growing in its eyes. It's got nine tongues. <laughs> Why's that man got barbed wire wrapped around his arm all the time? <laughs> yes. Why is he in a gimp mask? I don't understand. Oh, we found the thing from Event Horizon. You need to go up. Ooh. Well, what are you going to do with it? Well, I have to use my stasis gun, so i got to stop this. Let's get all the goodies that are lying around. Ripper schematic, okay.
Uh, okay, in there's here. some some talk that predator milk might be green. <laughs> right. I don't know. Hmm. Well, well, I don't know because like, yeah, and cat... our milk's white. Yeah. Well, I mean black. <laughs> I think Predator Blood's probably uh, blue like Star Wars milk. Predator Milk's blue like Star Wars milk. That's what I think. Um, is is Ben here to uh, to tell me what to do? <laughs> because freeze the thing. Yeah, probably. I'm sure he'll jump in in a sec. I just throw this in there. Get in there. Oh, Colin McLean says important VBB message. It is the 75th birthday of Valverde hero John Dutch Matrix today. Oh, you really? should watch one of his movies to commemorate the day of his birth. Oh, hello. I'm uh, going to Austria and I'm going to Graz, the birthplace of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, so you'll see the big living statue. Well, yeah, I'm going to. Oh, oops. I've got some ice in a bag and it's leaking all over my desk. <laughs> Give me a sec. Sorry. <laughs> Ivan, enter entertain the people, Ivan. <laughs> okay. Richard's, Richard's going to have to clean up some icy, icy. I see icy madness, let's say. Um, Adrian Mendoza in the chat with the image of Statham milking predator glands is with me forever now. Okay, so while Richard cleans up his uh, icy, icy madness, let's brainstorm. Where are the milky, milky glands on a predator? You know, I want to hear people's views. They could be around their big jowly face. There's a lot of action going on there. It could be some of the dreadlocks and milky, milky glands, or they could have a nice row of teats under their fish net, or maybe little knee teats or wrist teats. Who knows? Or or just glands. They could be like monotremes and just sweat a bit of milk out of their wrists. We <laughs> out just of their don't wrists. Know. I am um, as the who discussion knows? of well, predator I'm milk. I'm asking the chat. Oh, I see. Oh, who who knows? Not rhetorically. We just like who. Mm. I, just as someone, just as you said, predator milk, um, <laughs> I just felt a wet something under my elbow, which transpired to be... Well, lucky uh, it didn't trip down from the ceiling onto you. That's true. Then you'd have to be worried. <laughs> I'd be worried about predators sweating milk onto me. <laughs> right, I'll just... Oh, Ben says the couplers are above the rings. Richard seems. Oh, Richard's deep in uh, deep in hacking concentration or pushing it. Yeah, hacking concentration. Okay. Uh, Sam Duxbury, what did Ivan? What did you think of Type Tillia Blade? I thought it was really cool. I thought it was very good. I would say when I actually watched the complete version, I realised how much I'd watched out of context. You know, <laughs> oh God! Dur yeah, during the process. Have... Yes. Because I seen. didn't think I'd seen that much of it. It's like, oh, but uh, yeah, no, no, it's very, very cool indeed. Yeah, see, unbiased opinion from Ivan there. Uh, I just broke oh, yeah, gravity. Well, I broke you're gravity. Gonna have, to, gonna have to go onto my OnlyFans to hear <laughs> Ivan's hot takes. <laughs> too hot for TV. <laughs> exactly. Too hot till you bleed. Till you bleed after dark. <laughs> oh, I've been so. There's been. I don't know if you've. No, if you know this, but there's been a lot of heat on Simpsons Hit and Run on YouTube recently. The guy who's remaking it. Yeah, well, it turns out there are a couple of projects that are collaborating, oh. helping each other out with stuff. There's a couple of people remaking, uh, remaking Simpsons Hit and Run. Mm. And uh, yeah, so I got it. I got it on GameCube. Oh. Uh, like emulating, you know. And mm. uh, I've been playing it. And, and there's some really good quality Simpsons writing in it, the cast works. I never played it. At the, at the time, I was quite oh. young. I was like, oh, shit, Simpsons game, whatever. But people really uh. like it. And um, all the cast are in it. There's some good, funny Simpsons jokes in it. You know, I yeah, I've had a lot and of fun so with it. And so much lore. You know, all the different vehicles, all the... Mm. Costumes yeah. to unlock as well. Yeah, because that was... Was that PS2? Yeah, PS2. Get I got the GameCube version, but it's that. Um... Yeah, because that was that was a PS2 game we had. Mm. So that was one of the few PS2 games I played, apart from Pro Evo, and I guess Final Fantasy. But yeah, it's a really, really cool game. You know, had a lot of depth to it. Obviously, I imagine playing it now, kind of control-wise. You know what? I'm I'm I've been having a lot of fun with it. 
I have, and I've been. It's one of those games where, when I <laughs> when I'm not playing and I'm saying where Simpsons Hidden Run. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been like going back to it, playing it a lot. I've had a, loads of fun with it. I've really had a lot of fun with it. Oh man, that sucks. You want to help me out? You want to help a man out? Or... Oh, that's where the yeah. The people come remaking out. it looks really, really good. Yeah, um, there's one project in particular I've been following. There's one guy who's gone and used like an algorithm to turn all of the cutscenes into actual 2D Simpsons scenes for his oh. version. It's really fucking good, really nicely done. Um, See, so yeah, I mean, those are never going to be released to the public. Um, that that's what annoys me. Is it's like, are you guys saying that because you're cool? Or do you have to say that? Or yeah, well, <laughs> is I, it really never going to be released? <laughs> Colin McLean, uh, I've done another sketch I'd like to share with everybody. If I could share it on the VVB Twitter, Rich could share it at the end of the stream. Uh, Colin, get it on Twitter now and I'll go over and, and grab it. Um, and Zambon, I'll, I, I might gave £5, halfway to 40 tomorrow. By the way, I bought the pink t shirt you had on last time, Rich. Oh, nice one, I might. It's a fucking cool t shirt, isn't it? It's a really cool oh. t shirt. Um, Thank you both, and merry birthday to you, Omar. Merry birthday, Mr. Omar, or merry half birthday. Okay, this door is locked. I'm not doing it, it's gravity up. Woo! Adrian was saying milk lands on the predator's elbows. Mm. Cash back. Why do I get this door open? All these coffins. Do, 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 do. I'm such a space boy. Space boy. <laughs> uh, Mike has said, back. Richard, what happened to your Trek Picard drink? <laughs> yeah. Did you love it that much? It was too good, Micah. <laughs> it was too good. I liked it too much. I thought, well, I've got to, you know, I've just got to not do this anymore. I want people to watch it and enjoy it on its own merits. That's Love the thing, because so you tried to record a few more, but it was like that Tim and Eric mind explosion. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. My brain went everywhere. <laughs> ah. Ah, okay. Got the gravity back on, we can go in. Hey, I could buy some health and not die. That'd be lovely. Nice. Yeah, people, people dig in the Simpsons hit and run. Oh, good. Oh, Ben Ridding says now you can fly. Hoorah! Yeah, I got that sweet anti gravity. Sweet flying powers. Right, so I've got. Yeah, silhouette. I love the rocket car in the Simpsons game. That was when I appreciated how cool it was. It's like, <laughs> oh, you've, you've got the homeless guy's rocket car. Fantastic. <laughs> Ripper blades. I don't have a ripper, I think. Okay. Force energy. Okay. No, don't sell that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, javelin spears. For the javelin gun, I don't have one of those. Uh, medium med packs. Super oh, I do have med packs. Okay. Let's buy some stuff. Uh, medium med pack, please. Because that has been absolutely burning my ass. Power node. Uh, Ooh. Ben says, if you get the chance to change into the vintage bloody suit, you get 15% off all purchases, saving cash. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> there you go. Because I've got all the suits, and I think they're free. That's how I ended up with this suit at the start. Free hey, Z Klingon Smith suits. has entered the chat. Oh, hey there. How you there. doing, Z? Good to see you. I was quite happy... I was watching. Oh, AEW. I've got, he's got no, he's got no mask in this suit. <gasps> Look at that handsome Isaac Clark. I was watching AEW this week, and someone had the free hat sign from South of Park. Nice. nice. Oh, uh, Omar uh, wants to say halfway through his thirties. Give him another two pounds. Thank you so much, Omar. Oh, you're halfway through the thirties. Oft, oft. Yep. That's the fun about pandemic. You get to add two to three years of just kind of random time that passed. <laughs> Cash back. Well, let me just. Oh no, he has Unless got. He has got a hell, real but... job, like <laughs> working in the health sector, and then you know, but that's not for me. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, sweet. I'll get some upgrades as well, Ben. 
any advice you can give. I clearly don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Oh, there's a bench. Oh, there's a bench. Let's go to the bleeding bench. Let's go to the bleeding bench. You're drongo. Oh, well done. Oh, and it's Worms' birthday next Saturday. Next Saturday. We've got the birthday run. Birthday run. Mm. Yes, it was an absolute pleasure to meet old Sam Duxbury. I had a fucking... Oh, Sam says I'm ancient. Yeah, Sam coming up. Hung out. Oh, fucking Sam met everybody, mate. He met Simon and Will and all this lot down here. And uh, Mark came out as our Mark and Brad's. We had a right old, right old knees up. Um, uh oh. Right, I need... I've got to do some shit. I've upgraded shit. I'm going to go four nodes. Um, I do quite like the agility pass rifle. Do I upgrade my rig? More health. Yeah, uh, Ben says, drag the pillar to the right. Okay. And hey, John, turning 40 during lockdown, I can appreciate. Not ideal. But we should all stop talking about ages, because it's not going to make any of us happy. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be my top tip. There's, there's a point a point where talking about ages just makes everyone sad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we don't want <laughs> Give me that sweet, sweet damage. Ben fine. says rig for hit points. Oh, whoops. Oh, I think I did that a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, look at this. It's like library racks. Oh, poor Ian. I was created in a pod. No birthday for me. <laughs> no belly now, button. The question is, what kind of pod? Is he a, is he a pod person? Mm. Or is it like a scientific pod? Or the Christian skate rock band P.O.D. Which... <laughs> it could have been created <laughs> in P.O. What, through some sort of black magic? I or? think so, yeah. Some kind of... He's some the kind... moon child <laughs> that P.O.D. created. P.O.D.'s heaven is a hash pipe. <laughs> heaven is a... <laughs> heaven is a moon child. Many people don't realise that P.O.D. <laughs> actually followed the rituals of Alistair... <laughs> Alistair... Um, Crowley. Alistair Crowley, thank you very much. <laughs> the moon child. And successfully really. summoned the moon child. He <laughs> went, went to live in uh, Ireland and contribute to the unpopular YouTube channel by early broadcasting. <laughs> thus fulfilling the, the prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of his more low key uh, prophecies. Okay. Uh, oh, Crowley. Weird fella. Oh, Crowley. Right. Oh, like... <laughs> you're weird, fella. <laughs> yeah, we're, you're, you're a strange boy. I tell you what, when, when his mum found out, she was furious. Alistair <laughs> Crowley's mum was, was was raging. She was pure raging, the as they say, say in Scotland. The soul of John Berzik's microwave mm. says, I have an error on my birth certificate which states I was born six years later. Is that real? Is that really what happened? He's full of tall Because if that's that true, that's nuts. But I can imagine it's a big issue, because I don't know about... Oh, what was that? I've got a sticky desk, as you were. It's, Ooh, ide it's, ideal, for, it's ideal for Tinder swindling, though, if you've got a <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I don't know about other people, but my birth certificate was handwritten. So I imagine I can really... You know, it must be really easy. Presumably by a doctor who presumably, because mine is handwritten too. Like doctors who presumably yeah. have the the worst handwriting in the world. Well, not presumably, they just fucking do. Well, mine's so. quite nice handwriting. It's quite, you know, it's it's got that nice kind of someone who went to a school that taught them taught what? them to write all fancy like. My doctor is illiterate, so it's just all X's. <laughs> <laughs> That is that why your middle name's XXX? <laughs> it's XX. Yeah, XXXX. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Oh. This is a. <laughs> These don't seem to react to me making them dead, and I hate that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just a bit gassed at them. Okay. Okay, we good. We're Silhouetted good. Animator says Alistair Crowley is a major antagonist in the Pennyworth show. Oh, okay. Of course. Well, I, don't, I don't even know where to begin with that. That's... Uh, yeah, you know. Still kind of interested in watching it, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's too combobulating for me. 
Which combobulated? Discombobulated. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that, that's my D's nuts, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> okay. Spooky. <laughs> Have you, have you liked all oh, the spooky yeah. guts in this game? The, so the Solar John says straight up, my birth certificate was reissued at the time of adoption, which occurred when six years old. The day of oh. adoption was dated as date of birth. Because they would Whoops. have said, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Jeez. That's cool. So you can have two identities. Oh, my God. We're at a boss. Uh-oh. Big, scary-looking boy. Oh, I got hit the yellow thing. Ooh. Stasis, stasis, stasis. Yeah. Station. Gotta hit those yellow things. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I was, uh, I was dealing with Norton messages. Oh Not as dangerous as what you're dealing <laughs> no. with. No, okay, but, no. Uh, no. Oh, they took they took his helmet off to kill him. Oh, oh that's just oh, mean. Right down the mouth hole. Bloody hell. Oh, oh bloody hell. He did not look happy about that. I think that. he's alright, I just used to have a health pack. <laughs> I didn't handle that well. <laughs> I didn't handle that well. I was just sort of I thought I was aiming one way, I was aiming another. That was all that was all fingers and thumbs, that was. Right. Should I have a different gun? Oh, I could use the grenades. Uh, I'm going to use the force gun and <laughs> just hope for the best. Uh -oh. Ben says shoot the yellow orb. But yeah, I, I, I just did a very bad way. job of it, that's all. <laughs> this big old shaky yellow orb. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is not the talk of the job. What the interview. Uh, yeah, John Smith says, got to wonder what the interview process is to become a game boss. That's a fair point. You do, you do wonder where they pick them out from. That. Because, you know, they are a boss, so presumably well, there's some sort you know, of... It's a level of management that's not really discussed. You know what I mean? Because, mm. you know, are they middle management? Are they upper management? I don't think it's exactly... Do they have to deal with HR? This is it. Because presumably they have some element of hiring and firing. You'd have thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need the machine gun, I think. I need something that's going to repeatedly kind of... I've got the grenades as well. <laughs> Fine, here we go. Hello there! It's me, Obi-Ben oh. Kenobi! <laughs> yeah, Steve and I, I watched a bit of the 2020 online convention. Um, Toby did some of that! I... Turns out... Oh, yeah! Yeah, he says Toby Venables did a panel with the guy who co-wrote for Lamina Kung, who said how much 2000 AD influenced British comedy. I wonder who that was. Yeah, I watched some of it. It was good fun. Uh, there were some weird people on it. Ian Dunn. Yeah, they really cast it. surprised us on it. Okay, I'm... Plasma Cutter, says John Doe. Okay, it is a Plasma Cutter. Plasma Cutter. Plasma gun and pulse rifle. You're going to see <laughs> Port Isaac's mouth getting shot quite a lot, I think. <laughs> mouth shot. Mouth shot. All right, plasma cutter it is then, boyos. Now, you're at a management level now. We can't call you mouth shafter. You're going to have to have a... Have a <laughs> name <that laughs> more leadership. I just need to make a... We need to make a correction. Um, <laughs> hold on. Lewis Taylor... Heaven is a half pipe is by OPM, not POD. I just Ooh, I don't know anything apologies. about the the genre of music either those bands is from, and I, that was a swing and a miss for me. I'm afraid I can't keep it a go. Oh, there's gonna be a Goon TV series. Yeah, oh, apparently so. But didn't they already do an animated thing where Clancy Brown was the gig? Or am I no, I think I'm just getting things wrong again. Oh I got pus to come out. Oh the the yellow thing's a baby, I think. Oh, it's a baby. My baby. Um, they might have. Could that have been like a fan thing? Oh or my the, god. You know, like a... Yeah, one of those high end fan things. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. Okay. Oh, thanks, Rob Myers. 
try my best with the dulcet tones. Hopefully the COVID has given me a bit of extra graveliness. His COVID tones. Or sickness, at least. <laughs> <laughs> POD were actually quite decent. Uh-oh. The POD fans, the POD are, fans coming, are out. They're force. coming for you, Richard. Wait, do I go back and get more plasma ammo? Because it just seems like no other gun works. No. Oh, shit. I'm just kind of done then. Uh... To find a store. You're going to get that mouth shaft. It's oh, all no, good. There's no store. Okay. Fine. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> when he says fine, you know it's not fine. Okay, then we've got this. You get the plasma cutter. Fuck's sake. Go sideways. All right. No, it was Patsy Brown and Porty and Matty. Uh, yeah, I do have the vid indeed. Yeah, from this morning, officially. Oh yes, the trailer for Rob Zombies, The Monsters. Wait, uh, so what? Mm. Did I do it or not do it? Okay, okay, I did it. Oh yes, got some babies to kill! Heyo! <laughs> there was a bit in the last stream Go where I just... I, I turned the corner and loads of babies run out and I machine gunned them and I just really wasn't expecting it. But the game did expect me to machine gun them, so there is that. Yeah, but the way I hear it, you then laugh for five minutes. I did have a huge boner as well. <laughs> 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 They're dropping goodies like you uh, wouldn't believe. Oh, behind me. No. Oh, fuck off, you chump. Right, these guys have dropped goodies because... I'm going to have to fight that fucking monster. I need all the help I can get, I guess. <laughs> Drop some serious creds. Dropping creds all over the place. Got all those sweet, sweet creds. Get myself a... Uh, yeah, the monsters trader. I I don't mind minority. I don't you have know, the strongest opinions about the monsters. monsters. I think it's hmm? weird. Because Rob Zombie's like a huge Monsters fan, apparently. Um, it's the it's Universal's budget label that did all those like Deep Blue Sea sequels and stuff like that. Um, so it's a straight to video mm. kind of budget label affair. And it's like, yeah, do you know what? If you that's the money you need to make a Monsters film, okay. Um, I'm I'm just not. I just uh, I don't know. It seems weird to me. Like it. It's definitely very weird. But it's also like, it's the monsters. Yeah, it's hard you to have know. too much of an opinion about it, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like the monsters and the Adam family were pretty, in my mind, as TV shows, they're pretty much at the same level. And then the Adams family movies are as good as doing a movie from that sort of material could be. And it's like, there's, the monsters are never going to hit that hot. And they have no right to be. And it's fucking Rob Zombie. Um, yeah, it's exactly. so. I just, but as, <laughs> as, as you well know, I, I just think Adam's Family Values in particular is just a ridiculously exceptional movie. Like, it's such an amazing yeah, film. Yeah. No, it's awesome. But yeah, I don't you know, know. It's, it's, it's funny, um, isn't it? Because I... there was the Brian Fuller version of The Monsters called Mockingbird Lane with, like, it was very. 2000s gritty reboot, gritty reboot style. It was like Eddie Izzard was grandpa and um, yeah, Brendan, not Brendan Fraser, uh, your man from Sliders. He's in, he's in Star Trek Lower Decks. Mm. Uh, shit, that's yeah, me. that guy. Was Herman, sexy yeah. Herman monster? And... It's um, yeah, and yeah, that I never saw any of that. I remember there being a bit of kind of buzz 
although yeah, I it's think supposed to be quite people did liked that it, even I think. get to I think it was a pilot yeah did it get to a whole series that yeah was it just a pilot I <laughs> we, we might have or, yeah I thought it, it's I'm not I'm not so sure hold on we have some issues here. <laughs> can you see that <laughs> oh yeah little jiggly boy I love how you had to lean in <laughs> it's like, what the fuck <laughs> trying try and stroke him calm him down I can I can freeze him hush no, nope, didn't work, it didn't, didn't it? Shh. <laughs> We're friends now. Oh, there we go. There's a oh, trap. He's got a Judge Mortis face, look. Bad Francis says Jerry O'Connell. Jerry so O'Connell, Frank, thank you. Thank you, you very thank you, much, Chris. Bro. I can't believe I'm confused with Brendan Fraser. I fucking loved Sliders as well. I <laughs> What was it? My mum. My mum was like, "What's that thing you used to like? Wigglers, squirmers, <laughs> sliders." <laughs> that, oh yeah, sliders. <laughs> okay. I would have watched it. If, oh, well, I did watch it. Sadly, um, I would sadly. have watched more of it. <laughs> I would have watched more of it if it was called Wigglers. Squirmers as well. <laughs> hey guys, we got a wiggle into a new dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on listening to the big bopper. <laughs> but the big bopper only plays once every 12 hours, so they have a window. Yeah. This dimension has no big bopper vinyl. <laughs> How are we going to wiggle? We're going to have to form a big bopper cover band. It's the only way we can wiggle. Okay. Can we. Oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to watch it now, but just play the big bopper while I'm <laughs> yeah. watching it. That's your head cannon. That's your fan version. <laughs> yes. Uh, James Little, Sliders was great, but they did a weird recast halfway through. Oh, I watched Eternal Sliders Politics to the bitter reasons. end, and yeah, it got very <laughs> yeah. weird. Very weird. We watched a bit of the kind of final series when they were re-showing it a year or so back. <laughs> well, that's when they have to fight Remember the... Remember when all the cast changed? Oh yeah, the dimension. They have to fight the Squengar warriors something. or whatever. It's just like, okay, what the fuck, mate? Uh, Kira Freeman has just pointed out that Jerry O'Connor was in the Fat Slags movie. Lest we forget the fucking. Wow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. The fucking the happened. fact they made a Fat Slags movie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Different times, Richard. Different, Different times. times. You'd never be able to make that now. It's crazy. Good. You <laughs> should have made it then. Fat <laughs> <laughs> you won't make it now. Everyone knows Billy the Fish, the movie. Yeah. That's what we needed. Yeah. <laughs> Billy the Fish is so strange. In that era of Vista. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to save, but I don't feel good about it. Look. <laughs> I'm going to save it. Oh, yeah. Loads of uh, sliders <clears throat> love in the in the chat sliders fucking rocks wow up to a point yeah i fucking loved it they did they if did... any of you have sliders tats um, <laughs> <central, laughs> show me show me your sliders tats guys um <laughs> they... i've lost it now god damn it never mind no oh yeah no they did an i am legend episode <laughs> I, just... uh, I was just thinking a sliders tat is surely just Jerry O'Connell looking vacant. <laughs> yeah, but if anybody saw it, they'd go, oh, yes, uh, 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 Ivan, we've got a spam bot. Can you go in? It's just love oh, chat. Looks God, like yeah, Sorry, God, God. Ivan's going to fucking come and stamp out the bot. Uh, oh, my Problem. God. There we go. Oh, Ivan's on it, guys. Ooh. Thank you for your vigilance, everybody. You did build there we go. Yeah, they're all gone. Well, that's why we brought you here. The problem is, there's always the fear that because it, the chat's moving so quick, you've actually clicked on someone else's message. <laughs> Just some poor Sam. Poor Sam's gonna get kicked out for no good reason. I don't know, guys. I mean, if any of us been to love wife and chat like XYZ, maybe it is the key to free amazing sex. Chris Devine, which film or TV <laughs> program predicted future technology the best? Uh, Thunderbirds. All those privately owned hollowed out mountain well. uh, tomorrow's world. <laughs> All the cars that run on jam that we got from tomorrow's world. <laughs> well, everyone's getting killed by a helicopter. Yeah. Oh. Um, there's a few 
Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, there's someone there. says. Uh, oh, Colin McLean has shared his sketch to the BBB Twitter. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, is it, uh, hold on, Colin. I'll be with you in a minute. That's <laughs> Rob. John Smith. Why would anyone on the internet lie? <laughs> in response to Rob Myers, is it really the best internet dating site? Oh, was I supposed to do something there? Whoops, I was reading the comments. <laughs> I got turned into a red cloud because I was reading the comments. Fuck's sake. Uh, yes, Colin. Oh, oh, uh, oh well, now's the yeah, time. Film or TV program. <clears throat> you know, TNG still has two years well, TNG, for us to wait. For yeah, the Irish the reunification. Um, they do have, you know, persistent so, iPads in uh, TNG. Everybody uses iPads and yep. Kindle type things mm. all the time, which is very good. All of the touchscreen stuff, you know, that's there, isn't it? I'm just waiting for Twitter to load. Twitter yeah, I think commonly a long time to load. You know, that stuff in the last 10, 15 years, that stuff's become really prominent. Mm. And I do wonder if that's kind of the thing where, you know, what we, you know, because everything that predicts stuff after a decade or so, that's just kind of taken for granted. Mm. So it's only the last decade or two that you start to kind of think. So like for me, TNG kind of jumps out. But I don't know. You know, it's it's really trite kind of university stuff to say. But I do think 1984 is a great book at kind of predicting uh, kind of predicting attitudes uh, for the future. Mm. Um, obviously, that's not a TV show. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It feels like there's something kind of screaming out at me, which I can't really put my finger on. Sadly, The Prisoner is not it. I wish I was living in a Renaissance Italian village in uh, Wales, <laughs> surrounded by big white balls. Yes, well, don't, we, don't we all? Um, <laughs> hold on a minute. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to screenshot Colin. Colin's done a picture of Carrie Fisher. Um, which I'm going Ooh. to uh, bu, 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 bu. I'm just trying, trying oh, to Oh, I've become a teeny weeny little boy. You're a teeny weeny oh, little boy. I'm a teeny You're such little boy. a teeny weeny This is what I mean. He's a wee boy. Oh, Hi, I wish. He's a wee boy. Can you change my microphone so it's really high pitched? <laughs> I actually like, in seriousness, <laughs> like, I, I don't know offhand, but I think you can do like a pitch shift inside OBS, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hold on, Colin. I'm gonna come and bring your picture. Inch down. high pirate Ivan. <laughs> inch no, high, inch pirate. high private Ivan. <laughs> uh, pop that there. Just a second. Uh, yeah. Let's. Oh, poor Ivan. We'll drag him out again. The thing is, I've dragged Ivan out, and no, when, when Skype sorts itself out, you'll be the size of a big giant. Right, here's uh, Collins. I'm going to put Collins. Uh, I feel like Tony Hart, man. I'm putting on uh, viewer pictures, <laughs> which I have no issue with. Oh, um, if only we could... Yeah. I want to hum the no, gallery no, theme, but I think we good. might get soon. Do, 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 do it anyway. Oh, did you hear Tony Hart died? Wasn't it quite some time ago? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, crushing male ego since 1977. The lovely Carrie Fisher graced our screens as the strong, humbled, and determined Princess Leia. Remains a cinematic and feminist icon in our pop culture for generations to come. You can follow Colin there on Twitter at, at McLean underscore CA. Is that right, Colin? Just confirming the chat. I believe that says at McLean underscore CA. That's very cool. Um, and there's his cool, cool picture of uh, Carrie Fisher. Crushing male ego. This is a superb, <laughs> it's a superb description. <laughs> um, there was a remake of The Prisoner, I think, with uh, Ian McKellen and Jim Caviezel, which is a mini series. Uh, yes, there was indeed. Did you watch that? I'll... Did you watch that? Or... Okay. Well, I can discuss that in a sec. But <laughs> Ben is heading off. Take care, guys. Take care, Ben. Thank Mate you very ben. much Thank you for, for your help in. with the uh, dead spacing. Oh shit, Ben's gone. I'm so fucked. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Ben. All right, I'm gonna take. I take down Colin's pic. Thank you for that picture, Colin. That was lovely. Uh, that was a really cool picture, Colin. Very, yeah. very cool. For fucking... uh, yeah. Um, my my short description of the Prisoner new show, which I didn't see much of, mm -hmm. but. Uh, there's a guy running through a desert, and I think he gets to a cave, and in the cave is number six, 
as an old husky man. Uh, dusky? Husky? D Sexy. Dusty. Dusty. Old, old Dusty number six, who's kind of on his last legs and about to die. And for me, if the character we were following then opened his thighs and pissed on number six and then walked away, that would have been an appropriate ending for the series. But, um, it's a bit like... Uh, but it went on from that. It's a bit like the... Uh, Okay. Lee and Herring's secret ending to uh, Blues Brothers 2000 where they piss on John Belushi's grave and all the bloodstained money comes out. <laughs> I think the one cool thing because they filmed it in Namibia I think it was Namibia and they used the kind of the Nazi camps that were built kind of pre-war which are kind of weird, strange kind of wooden um, you know yeah, it's an interesting look, not as creative as Port Merriam, but, um, you know, they picked out an interesting kind of, air, you know, interesting location to use. So that was cool, but, um, hmm. yeah, you know, I'm sure someone in the chat has watched it properly and might have some proper views, but I tried to watch it straight away, and it's like, I hate this, <laughs> I'm turning it off. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I see no instructions. Oh, E. Okay. Become... There's always press E. That's what I've learned. Uh, yeah, that's... Oh. If you just press E continuously. Go on, Isaac. There we go. I did watch Alien last night, Ivan. I watched Alien last night oh. and I thought... And, and I just thought constantly of Alien Isolation. No spoilers. <laughs> Turns out the alien did it. Okay, this guy's got a big yellow thing on his arm, which speaks to me. It says, shoot my yellow thing. Ooh, he's got to shoot yellow things. They're the rules. Today, I haven't finished it yet, but I started watching RRR. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people are going crazy over RRR. Yeah. Really cool. I don't know I really, what I fucking really happened liked there. It. It might that, sorry, that was a mess. Like, um... <laughs> you shot oh, the yellow thing. But did I live? <laughs> you shot the... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh. But yeah, RRR is really cool. It People might are be... losing the shit over it, I know. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it might partly be because of my COVID adult mind, but I might have shed a tear at points. Um, it's all, yeah, no, I really like it. It's, it's as crazily over the top as I want from a kind of historical independence. <laughs> but three hours, geez Louise. Yeah, me off the bit. So yeah. I've just about... Okay, I live this it, time. It breezes past, I do have to say, but I still have to watch. around to watch. So. Right, this thing's trying to William Burke in me. Uh... No. Ah, I wasn't cooking up. Fuck. i got to do all that and open a friggin' door. Oh no, okay, I don't have to do that again, that's something. Yep, yeah, force push please. No, not the stasis one. No, you get force powers. Yeah, I've got force push, mate. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh... Are you watching this? Oh. I'm perplexed. It's... Go on, run. You know, I'd say press E. Press E. Um, if in doubt, that's press my it. default. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I might have. Oh. Are you watching this? Jesus Christ. Well. Right. Okay. I'm I'm losing a few frame rates. Uh, I'm having a frame rate drop here, so right. there's a lot of things spinning around. Can, uh... Shoot the red things. Shoot the red things. They look explody. Yeah. Okay. Is that good explody or bad explody? That's good explody. Okay. <laughs> nice. That was a very, that was a very confusing. <laughs> there's a yellow pack. Better shoot it. Frank says, which Sam was it we played Bridge Crew with that time? That was uh, Sam Veal. Mm. 
Sam Beale and Sam Duxbury were both at the screening, creating Sam confusion. The two Sams. The two Sams. No, 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 it's not over, at least not yet. Okay, holy cow. We, we build it, we can tear it down. Are you in the marker? Okay, I might pop off for a, a brief cigarette. Yeah, no sweat. For health reasons. No sweat. Um, so, I'll be back in a wee tick. Don't forget, Richard, press E. Yeah. And shoot yellow. Things. I'm going to just keep pressing E till you get back. Press E, my dude. Nice. <laughs> e, 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 With all of you soon. Right, I was off for a fag. Let's, uh, okay. All the things are this way. Fine. Let's go this way. How the candle still lets us, Sam? <laughs> uh, it's a good question. Someone's been tending to them, haven't they? Right, well, the game wants me to go that way, so clearly I've got to go. You can see Ivan's room there. It's just uh... The game sends you one way, you go the other way. That's. Them's the rules. All right then, all right then, this is fine. Okay. What's it, another one? We're back here. One of, one of these places. All oh, these bloody Unitarians. Okay, yeah. All, lead, all roads lead to Rome, looks like. The spooky flat. Bounce. There's going to be a f this fat creature in the game. Don't shoot the stomach as tiny creatures come out. Aim for the limbs instead. Okay. That was a tip from Ryan. They were afraid of us after the sessions. Uh, I remember. They took us to the machine for our sessions. For the steps. I don't remember any sessions. You're lucky you don't remember. When you do, he starts coming back. Who? Who comes back? Who? That's ominous. Look at you. You're up so much. Okay. Where are you going? Strauss, don't follow. He's not really there. Nice ginger beer. Uh, save station. Well, that's never on ominous, is it? I just smashed that guy's TV up. Never mind. Um. Oh, God. Never happy about saving. Well, I just feel like I've done a bad job. It should be a surprise to no one. Um, right, let's get this one here. Except, thank you. Okay, can I have a. I need you to improve my situation. Yeah, bench. Alright, and the store. Fine. Don't trust this at all. That looks like something I can collect. Some monitors are threatening to turn themselves off. Let's, let's deal with that. There we go. Right. Oh! Shoot the limbs. This is what Ryan warned me about. That's my plasma cutter. Yeah, I'm not going to let creatures come out of you. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, whoops. That did not go as planned. Well, that was no good. I can hear some, something's in here. Oh, hello. Oh, it's another fat boy. Take his legs off. Dude, st oh, I hate the PC controls for this. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Nice one, Isaac. Good work, mate. Necro cunts. Right. Right, 
next one just gets blown up and machine guns. I'm not gonna fucking silhouetted animator is off. Okay, silhouetted animator. Oh, are you alive? Didn't press enough, eh? Oh, fuck. I almost looked at the chat like a bell end. Run, Isaac, run! Run! Run, Isaac, run! Fuck's sake. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, holy. How is everyone? Oh. I looked at the chat and got mortally wounded. Where would I just fuck off? Jesus. Jesus, right. Yeah, no, I got distracted there and it cost me. I didn't die though, so I'm feeling quite good about that. Oh, the story is great. I can hear you, mate. Okay, cool. I pressed, pressed my silly cough mic. Uh, silly, silly, silly. Uh, you saw the thing about not shooting. There's some sort of big jobby and don't shoot his belly. Yeah. I just got a bit. Uh, <laughs> that was an ins very insane section. Like, there was a lot of monstering going on there. <laughs> Big monster boys. Close the door yet, Isaac? Well, do you? Hey, guess what, Richard? What's that? I, I have created an Instagram page where I use track titles from The Fall as prompts for uh, artificial intelligence image creator. Right. Okay. How's that going? <laughs> <laughs> It's been a lot of fun. I think, um, you know, because the fun of uh, that is picking the most ambiguous words as possible. Because kind of picking phrases that make sense, you're always disappointed. I've but the make... full are full of useless phrases as their track titles. So um, yeah, I think it. I think it does well. What is your, uh, what's your tag? How can we follow that? Um, uh, the Fall by AI. The Fall by AI. The Fall by AI. So what are you buying with your mega bucks? Uh, oh, yes. I think it's the answer. <laughs> it's, just, it's all been a <laughs> bit of a fucking disaster, to be honest. Uh, line reacts fine. He's, he's he's in front of he's standing in front of the thing, which is really not very uh, useful. Adrian's asked me what are my go-to cigarettes. Sadly, um, I'm I'm in the world of rollies, rolling tobacco, because in Britain cigarettes are crazily expensive. So mm. I spoke cut a choice. Back in the good old days, I would smoke Lucky Strike, Player, Navy Cut, Woodbines preferably those three what i found out while trying to get duty free fags in heathrow is loads of these brands are really hard to find now ah. so like lucky strike the only thing i could get were camel in uh, heathrow and the guy who ran like, the tobacco area told me a load of shit which i don't know how true it is but <laughs> he was like oh, the, oh those cigarettes you can't buy in britain anymore because they have chemicals and you can't have chemicals in cigarettes in Britain anymore. And I was like, okay. Mm. So was like, Those nice organic fags I that we enjoy. That. Yeah, and it's like, people don't care what shit you put in cigarettes. <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> that's been the that's been the long running you know vibe of cigarettes. It's like, yeah, put whatever you want in there. Potassium iodide, yeah, go for it. But um. Yeah, but Dunhills, I don't think I ever smoked Dunhills. I had a 
I had a friend whose dad was Algerian, and I think Dunhills and Winston's were his Winston's, go-to that's... fags. Winston's are the fags that uh, Winston's are the fags that um, the sim- the Flintstones just advertise. Oh yeah, watch out for new YouTube, like, indeed, uh, indeed. Oh, Barney, a nice relaxing smoke of Winston's or whatever. Um, I used to like uh, Marlboro Light when I smoked straights, but I didn't really smoke straights mm. much. You know what I mean? I stopped smoking straights when you could, when they banned ten packs. So it'd be like, oh, a nice pack of ten fags yeah. coming out, lovely. I mean, not lovely cancer. No, but, definitely. Uh, Russian fags. Oh, you yeah. Star Russian fags. Oh, hello, you fucking ever get this? It's an insane world. Ooh. It's like Half Life Two. Yourself the big wet door. Oh shit! He just launched a bomb out. All right, lesson oh, learned there, he's, I guess. He's an angry Don't shoot boy. big wet doors. Yeah. There's lots of burping going on here. You can't hear it, but there's a lot of burp. Oh, crumbs. Oh, for the love of P. Oh, for the love what of God. game burping? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I'm happy just being dead so I can go back to the old, uh, you know. For fuck's sake. God fucking damn it. Oh, hey there, Aston. Greetings to you, Space Jockey. Okay. Oh, oh my god, this one there. Oh, Bad Francis smoked Sterling. Good on you. Yeah, Sterling, Sovereign. Sovereign, all fucking the, hell. All the fun, all the fun backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Sovereign, rare classic for me. What's it, Super Kings? Oh, Super Kings, yeah, there's a bad boys. Love chat. Get out of here, love chat. Fuck, they're back again. XYZ. Jesus. Ivan was on that like you wouldn't believe. Look at that, mate. You were all over that. Yeah, and Sam was there saying, but cheers, sir. Um, I'm sort of feel like Sam. Gone, guys. Sam, if you want to be an admin, I can make you an admin. You can back Ivan up if you want. Just say, because I know Sam was already talking about doing stuff on Discord, so... <laughs> I just say it sounds like bad the butt. Goo boo gaggo, goo boo gaggo, bad the butt. Goo boo gaggo, goo boo gaggo. This is like those tedious bits in Half Life 2 where you have to go kill the fucking barnacles. Mm. No, I didn't want this. I didn't want this. I wanted fucking. I wanted the thing on the floor, thank you very Don't much. Don't want to go on the internet. <laughs> no, I need to go on the internet. So yeah, so those things that you're just gonna have to eek around. Oh, I just killed them all. Shoot them all. You just gotta stand still. And... Oh, you, oh, they're all done. Yeah, you're well, done. it's a number of them are done, is what I'm gonna say. Oh, okay. <laughs> no fair. So yeah, there's either a lot of fireworks going off in Cambridge, or there's low-level shelling. <laughs> low-level shelling. Oh god, I was I was, in, I was in France with Duncan doing a project and like. Uh, you know, just sounded like a bragging cunt there, but anyway. Um, and they were doing a cannon every day at lunchtime. And the first day we were there, we had this cannon going off, and we were both like, oh, is this it? <laughs> is this it all kicked off? Is it over? <laughs> like, everyone a real genuine, just kind of like, oh, mate, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Type situation. The, the French are on their cannons again. <laughs> yeah, those, it all the bloody French with their cannons. Okay, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm in dreadful shape. To be fair. Oh, mate, Sam, been uh, Frank. If Frank, if you want to be a fucking admin, it's what you can. Uh, there's not a lot to do, Sam. Really, you just gives you ability to ban twats when they come in. We could talk about it offline if you like, Sam. Frank's just like, don't get me well, responsible. Yeah. You get the fuck you... off my case. But Frank, if you want it, <laughs> <laughs> you guys know, you know, once in a blue moon we get a spam. But... It's been a while, isn't it? Yeah, the chat gang are all cool, so it's not like anyone has to get yeah, banned. Yeah, it's not like a lot has to happen. Saying anything crazy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's all it's, it's all kosher. Yeah, do I use my force gun? I mean, that looks not great, let's be honest. Yeah, don't worry, Sam. I can teach you the secret handshake. <laughs> the secret and handshake. All the co code words. Oh, is that Mr. Okay. Egg has a bomb? <laughs> Mr. Egg, has, Mr. A Mr. Egg has a bomb. 
<laughs> if Mr. Egg has a bomb, that means Mr. Egg has a bomb. But right, do I have to put that power thing somewhere else? <laughs> then? Because... Well, that's the thing. When I worked at John Lewis, they taught us all the their secret codes for the IRA and trying to blow us up and stuff like that. Right. But I've forgotten what they were. Ian Rankin's arms is trying Mr. to blow Bob. us up. <laughs> <Ian Rankin's arms. laughs> Very common situation. Well, I just took those batteries out. Was that what I was supposed to do? Look at this guy. He's having the worst time. Am I supposed to do that? Yeah, time. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Rankin, please can Mr. Rankin come <laughs> to the desk? His aunt's having a wild one. I mean, I don't know if it's true, but every time, if I ever heard, if I was in a sh shop, I heard people talk about a code brown. It can only mean one thing. <laughs> do I put this back? Do, 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 do. Right, so I just turn oh, these yeah. back on, but they they were. Oh, but of course I forgot I can fucking fly. Well, surely I came in. They were like that, so we don't oh, want yeah. that. We want this. We want these to come out. I think you want to take them out and blow on them, don't you? <laughs> so we can play Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Right, well I can fly. So. <laughs> oh, uh, what a great game. Do 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 do. Bad Francis. When I worked work at the cinema, it was Mr. Brown has entered the building. Like a scatological Elvis. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> <laughs> well done, wonderful. Micah Brooks, the best online dating for fans of the Prisoner remake. <laughs> oh, hello. I got... Oh, I can't. I... Like I say, the inventory's probably full of crap. Oh, okay. uh, I've got too many health packs. No, John Doe says I think there is one flying around. Oh, one battery. Which I'm guessing is. I'm guessing it's game related, or maybe he's talking he's, about Mr. Brown. He's talking about a code Brown. There ain't nothing up here. <laughs> oh, James Little says Richard, when you do your Cambridge showing, I'm determined to get there. I know that showing will be a big Valverde knees up. Yes, yes. So I don't know. Did I tell you, Ivan? I went to speak to the. I went and spoke to the computer museum, and they were very keen to have us for a showing, which is really cool. Yeah, no, you uh, did indeed. I did when I saw that was you. Very cool. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, a lovely place to do it, regardless of the fact it's obviously also relating uh, to the film. Do I just go into the fire? No, I'm on fire. Okay. Um, oh. Yes, uh, yeah, also, we're waiting to hear, but we are part of the official selection, selection for Wild Indie, and James, this might apply to you more, at Greenwich in London on the 10th of September. Doesn't mean we're screening, but we're part of the official selection, so we might be there in Greenwich in London. But I think the big thing, we're all about that, getting the Cambridge uh, screening together and making it a Val Valley meet-up. Uh, and I want to do like a live risky quizness and stuff, and I just think that would be cool. So you saying you're trying to figure out a Greenwich meet time? No, no, Greenwich... Wait, I just that just sailed right over my head. Yeah. <laughs> so what I think is, I want everyone to come to Greenwich, yeah. and I'm going to call them all bastards at a specific point on the <laughs> clock, and that will be my Greenwich mean time. <laughs> you know. Nice. <laughs> nice. Hey, I turned off the fire. I, I didn't start the fire, but I stopped it. Uh, I'm Isaac Clark. Right, um... Kieran says, will there be any tug to blue showing in the West Country? Uh... I'm guessing that... Yeah, there was one... Um, no, I, I'm not so sure, actually. I don't think so. I'm, I'm fucking running out of air. I'm not totally uh, au fait with everything that's happening, uh, screenings wise. I don't believe so, mate, no. Up north, hopefully. We're still waiting for the results. We're getting some festival results tomorrow, for example. But we've applied to like 30. We've only heard from five or so. Um, well, John Smith has asked about Scotland. And, um, again, I don't believe so. I can imagine so. there's a few. Just, oh, okay. yeah, there's festivals and stuff. I don't know anything that we've gone to. There's some up north. Uh, Everybody, uh, oh, I'm gonna have to fucking get one of these bollocks. Um, 
at Lit Lit Horror on the 6th of August in Harrogate, which I can't go to because I'm at a wedding. Um, we are up for Best Short Film, which is all fine and everything, but Dan is up for Best Poster, more importantly. You can see my poster just there. Oh, brilliant. Uh, and I am all about old Dan Lyles winning Best Poster because, my God, does he deserve it. Oh, shit, fuck you. Very cool poster. Oh, I'd yeah. expect nothing less from Dan. Exactly. Come on. And Mendoza says, by the way, congrats on all the success for the film. Richard. Yeah, cheers. Well, well, you know. Yeah, exactly. The sooner that all this festival malarkey's done, the sooner you lot can see it. You know, those of you up. They're, they're, we've managed, I think, to reach at least one in the States. You know, um, but I appreciate the States oh, is quite a big place. So, you know. Authorised engineers only. Suck my turds, authorised engineers only. Oh, oh, it's full of zombies. Stop. Michael and Anna say something very important is mess missing. Messing. It might be apropos. We haven't had any poo stories yet this evening. <laughs> so, well, we've um, just had the Code Brown talk. That is true. So there is that. I mean, uh, true. You know. It hasn't been completely without without feculence. Um, God, it didn't even occur to me I'd need to have one ready, but I suppose, really, I, we do. You know. Oh, well, you don't need to have one ready. Chat, chat will have will have a This is normally where uh, where a few of you step up, you know. And Sean Northridge always has our backs for the for the for the poo stories <laughs> this time. He wants me to go into the dark machine, Isaac. I can't go. She's in there. And uh, Mr. HEC, hey there, uh, says, yeah, there's been a lot of good feedback from that, but then again, a lot of people said Get Out was good. Now, he could be talking about movies, or he could be talking about two stories. That's true. It's hard to say. Some good competition. The John Smith says, then. yesterday I had... Hmm? Sorry, sorry, as you were. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, John Smith says yesterday I had a poo. I had to look up on the Bristol chart <laughs> due to never having won the likes of it before. I, you know, look, as I've I've made myself clear, keep one laminated next to your toilet because you never know when you're going to need it. You know, yeah, people get scared. There's a lot of scary <laughs> stuff that can come out of there. Well, yeah, I think people eating beetroot and uh, fears of colon cancer. There's a lot, quite of, lot of, you know, activism around colon cancer at the minute because that, what's her name, who, you know, the lady who did the Big C podcast died. Yeah. You? Um. Yeah, it's good because people don't want to talk about bum cancer because it's rather awkward. So my granddad died yeah, of bum cancer. Oh. So, well, know, yeah, yeah, if there's blood in your stool, go and see someone. Cause if if there's blood in your good. stool, and it just yeah. ain't cool. That's the, that's the rhyme. Exactly. <laughs> that's the poster we had in our school. <laughs> you know, next to school dinners or cool dinners. Yeah, and they both had Fonzie on. He had, he had a busy day that day. <laughs> <laughs> Fonzie dancing with the polar bear. <laughs> it's the polar bear from the Crest of Lemonade Bottle. Again, really capturing that capturing that young audience on Val Valley Broadcasting. He was the coolest polar bear ever. Though. I mean, I was, he, yes, without question. I mean, I've seen some cool polar bears, but woo! Got a bloody gravity gun, mate. Got a bloody Half-Life gravity gun. Don't worry about it. This feels like a grab, fucking boss arena. all that stuff. Whoa! Oh. I hate these pricks. Fuck uh, you. Ooh, Sam says I was in a room full of food today. That worked. <laughs> Show on. So, now that leads to a lot of questions about where you work. Because if you work in a, a sewer or a water <laughs> treatment farm. I know where Sam works, but I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> oh no, Does fuck. he work for Gilbert and Gilbert and George? He does, yeah. At their poo lab. Okay. Well, that's that's fair enough then. Fuck's sake. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sam says, I was in a room full of poo today at work. And then follows up with, other people's poo too. <laughs> 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 Fuck off! Ah. James says, question, Cambridge Meetup, Travel Lodge or Premier Inn? Uh, they're both next to the venue. It's, it's uh, near the... Uh, okay. I, think, I think I'm dead. Am I pressing E? I'm just getting my face ripped off. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're both next to the venue, so you have a choice. <laughs> Michael and I do stuff. Now I thought Richard saying laminate meant you should have a bag ready to press your freshly minted movement and have it examined immediately should it be out of the ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on, hang on. Does that mean Americans don't do that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, how, how do you know if you have... How do you know if you've got worms or not, then? Well, exactly. <laughs> unless you have an initial vertical slice of your dumps. How do you know... You know, you just raise a semi. Yeah, so you're laminating your dumps and then taking a scan of it and then sending it to your GP. <laughs> That's one of those you things. Well, one Richard, of those things from tomorrow's that. world that comes true. Is that poo laminator that just spacked it into your GP <laughs> <laughs> by fax? Now I know Richard. You... <laughs> And now here is the cutting edge of GP circuits. This fax machine will give up-to-date stool samples to check everyone's roundworm levels. <laughs> oh my god. Fred Dibner has more. Oh, that's... <laughs> I'm supposed to Stephen have Allen says, my brother shat on my head once. <laughs> I can remember it getting in my eyes. <laughs> I still have to hear that. Yeah, That's yeah. understandable. <laughs> we, can, we can rely on you lot. Oh, we can your rely eyes. on you. You know, on, on the plus side, you didn't go blind. Which, That's true, as a child, poo, was always girl. what I was told about. Mm. Mm. I remember <laughs> RMX from Which, you know, begs the question why that doesn't happen. Rob remembers Fonzie's AIDS ain't cool poster. Because we were all so convinced of that before. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Ben said use the force gun. Use the force gun! Yeah, so, as it's been a while since we've since we've done the stream, anyway, mm. what were your views on o Obi-Wan, the series? He was intermittently quite fun and really stupid. Like, you watched it all, right? Mm. You never, like, him and him and Leia escape because he put her under his trench coat like Ben Grimm going out to get a kebab. <laughs> like, there are bits in it, I've said this a number of times now, but there are bits in it where the script said Obi-Wan escapes and they had to make it up on the day. So there's loads of proper cartoon fist shaking and stuff. Like, I really liked the, the Anakin and Obi-Wan fight at the end. I thought it was really great. If you try and reconcile that with, you know, Star Wars, it's like, I have felt something. Something I haven't felt since nine years ago when we had that totally sweet fight. It's a bit like, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I nearly melted it up. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, but some quite cool things about it. I just, um, I fucking, I, like, Ewan McGregor, I love seeing Ewan McGregor as that character. He's having loads of fun doing it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I thought Starfish Volta was really cool. You know, when they put their faith in him to drive them across the... Yeah, right. That was Zach Braff. Yeah, it's like Brappers, it was nuts. Frank or whatever. Um, but it's just I like a really cool bit. Come I like... Oh, come on, on Johnny. Yeah, kind of the idea of the fake Jedi. It's mm. Like, oh yeah, that's a great bit of world building. Yeah, because you have these grifters. Also, yeah. I think I said this to you when I saw you, but like, who'd have thought if someone had told you? Uh, you know, 25 years ago, there's going to be a Star Wars TV show with Ice Cube's son in it. <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 
But yeah, force escalation. They need to sort that shit out. Because, you know, give it another two movies and someone's going to crush a planet with the force. Yeah, yeah, right. And it's like, chill out, guys. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Smash that big squiggly boy. Oh my god, Stephen Allen did go blind. He can he barely did go see. Blind. Oh, he's just got his eyes. Have you tried wiping the poo out your eyes? I know it's been a long time, but. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'd say use a damp cloth. <laughs> okay, now, to be fair, I know there's a small chance. You are blind, Steve. And, and we're just <laughs> cruelly joking. Then we come across as deeply insensitive. <laughs> Whoa, he just swiped my bloody thing out of the way. Ooh, oofed. Sean Northridge in with a. Told you. Out of poo chat. <laughs> no, no, out of poo chat, but still really bad. Um, so Sean says, I've had that one before. My sister once slapped us with a bloody hand after she had had a bad day in the bathroom. It took me three <laughs> years and a single class to figure out what it was. Oh, jeez Louise. Got to love siblings, haven't you? Well, you know. Uh, James Little, I caught a little bit of Resident Evil on Netflix and within about a minute I was like... This is some dumb shit. We've had a live action Resident Evil film and series within six months of each other. It's just like, okay. I've heard such mm. mixed things about it. I, I think, because I think Dan perhaps enjoyed the Resident Evil series. People were, there was some positive about the Resident Evil series last time we did this. Um, it's just baffling to me, man. It really is. I'm just so deep into my bafflement. Yeah, I've heard people say, like, a few episodes in, it starts to kind of really build up steam. Mm. And bloody, I forget the name of that actor who's, uh, what you call it, but he's awesome. Well, Lance Reddick. So I'm sure. Lance Reddick, the bald guy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's awesome. The only bad performance is him playing a Jamaican in Oz. But, oh, yes, um, yeah. Oz yeah. is all on fucking Paramount+. Oh, my Plus. God. Yes, I... I'm not sure I should enter that dungeon again, because <laughs> I've watched a lot of ours, and, you know, I think it's the kind of once you pop, you can't stop. Mm -mm. Um, I don't think I could watch an episode of ours and be like, fine, that's me done. It is going to be like, and this is going to sound like, like oh. a weird thing to say, but isn't it only like six seasons? I say only, but it's only like six seasons, isn't it, Oz? It's six seasons, but... It's really weird. I think like season three is like eight episodes, and then season four is like twenty-four or something like that. And it's all HBO, so it's out a lot. And um, yeah, it, it's a fair old chunk of stuff, and also just so fucking harrowing, you know. Yes, <laughs> like legitimately upset. There's a lot of <laughs> James Atkinson's just entered the chat. Hello, James. Join hey. us. Join oh. us. Message redacted. Uh, oh, I think you've angered James. I've angered, I've <laughs> angered James. <laughs> Frank says Oz just gets depressing after a while. I yes, think. but in the best way. In the best Until way. Until it, it then goes a bit crazy. It does it's get like, a bit oh, nuts with it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I love. Um, yeah. I love Oz. I think it's an awesome, awesome show. I forget, Alan Moore called it something like, um, gay sci-fi art. <laughs> right. Like that. And it's like, yeah, that's a very, yeah, pretty accurate. it's very apt. Yeah. Alright, someone's having a... Oh yeah, James Atkinson's back in the chat. Ah, excellent. Oh, hey, he James. says, have you seen the John Wick 4 trailer? Uh, I saw a bit of it. I haven't watched it a bit. But uh, yeah, John Wick's great fun. Love, love some John Wick. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I, I should check it out. Because I'm sure I'll love the film. Because John Wick films are exactly my cup of tea. Just uh, turn this key light up. Let's see how that looks. 
Why? Well, I don't know. That's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's... Oh, we got 40 in here, everyone. Much appreciated to have you in here. Hey. We'll have you out here. Shit, 47, um, I'm reading. I'm trying to get to the Damn, order. hello, yeah. everybody. Welcome. Um, we're back. We're back. Ivan pulls down numbers, what that's a secret. We to Ivan pulls down them oh numbers, God, yo. Oh, God, we're back again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I can yeah. Help you. yeah. We're going to finish with uh, Backstreet Boys. Oh, Clancy Brown's in John Wick 4. Damn it. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Mr. HEC is just out to get the li those light topics going. Trailer for Oppenheimer is out, so I'm going to ask a touchy question. Atomic nuclear weapons, for better or worse? Uh, I'm going to leave that one, Mr. HEC. You guys have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you all crack on with that one. The British are planning to put 100 tonnes of plutonium in the Irish Sea. Yay, to make it warmer. To make it warmer. <laughs> it's so ships can never yeah. at night because it glows. It's, bit... it's it's a scientific fact that you want really dangerous things to be as inhospitable to get into if anything goes wrong. Yes. So yeah. in a crevasse at the Irish Sea sounds like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're just crushing it, man. <laughs> We're just crushing it. Right, do I just fucking... Yeah, Oppenheim... It's an interesting one. People sure like that Oppenheimer. Where's my Werner von Braun uh, biopic? Well, yeah. yeah I want to see my Aunt Carmel. Ugh. I don't know. I, can't, I, got ridiculous I think you things. should buy the bottom right gun. I should buy stonks. Oh, this is what I've got already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I need to buy stonks. <laughs> Get some fucking health, man. Oh. <laughs> James says, I remember someone describing ours as making prisoner cell block H look as menacing as porridge. <laughs> 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 and Adrian says, I love Oz. Fantastic show. Willies. <laughs> willies. There are a lot of willies in Oz. And it's nice to... I just hear an American say willies as well. That's, uh... <laughs> it is a do. And that's oh, something. Ah, fucking there's not. There's not a lot of willies in the boys, but the boys has a lot more male nudity than female nudity. Yes. Because it's only really hero gasm where you get female. Because uh, you know the comic has the many, boys, many a willy. Oh god. I think yeah. it's probably the comic has like an even spread of nudity between genders. I think. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, because I've just been rereading some boys. I bought De Dear Becky, the boys' kind of recent one. Oh, um, have you read it yet? I've read it, yeah, yeah. It's alright, it's more boys. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's alright. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Oh shit. If we needed to say more, really, <laughs> with the boys. But it's a welcome, you know, it's welcome. It's more, you know, and I like the boys a lot, so. Worms T17 says, "Did Oz have its own swear words like naff off?" Yes and no. <laughs> no, in the sense it had a lot of real swear words, but yes, in the sense that they called drugs tits. Yes. And so you would have characters like Adabusi shout, "Give me tits," which um, was always quite amusing. Uh, yeah, Stephen Allen, America did talk about nuking the moon. There was a lot of crazy nuke ideas. Operation Plowshare, I think. I th correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was about nuking soil to try and kind of, you know, to try and kind of turn up the soil to help make it fertile. Right. I think that was Operation Plowshare. When you have a but hammer, I'm everything like, looks like a nail, like, I guess. It's amazing, isn't it? And then, you know, the bazooka nukes of the early 2000s. Mm. That seemed like a really good idea. I it's, think that's because um, they oh. watched Starship Troopers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when you're in R&D, you hit <laughs> Just hit, hit him you bongs and watching Paul Verhoeven <laughs> movies. <laughs> if we thought about a gun that can shoot dicks off. <laughs> <about that. laughs> 
A dick homing gun. Do we have a dick homing gun? <laughs> and if not, why not? Is there a bloody carbuncle thingy here or not? Ooh, Trixies. Fine candies. I can hear something go. Ooh, ooh. Fine candies. Fine candies. Fine candies. Delicious candies. The Guardian has a real thing about. It seems Oxford Street's full of shops selling American candy. Now. Yes, that they they suspect the of money laundering. The yeah. Guardian are reporting the and fuck out of that. Yes, <laughs> so many articles. <laughs> it's like, and yeah, you know, if they're not paying taxes and stuff like that, they're not paying business rates and stuff. It does good. seem like a legit problem. Um, yeah. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's just like. Chill the fuck out, the Guardian. There's so many. <laughs> I swear <laughs> down, Britain, because Britain is a fucking money laundering paradise. Shockingly, um, oh god, yeah. so many businesses. I've found, particularly since I moved to the south coast, there are places like um, round here. It's like, well, that's never open, but it seems to sell goods, and it's like, mm. yeah, okay. Oh, oh, hello. Well, that's gonna be fine. Oh, I've heard about these. They're the well, you'll see. That'll do it. I remember this part from my original playthrough. Yeah, so if it says press E to hug... <laughs> press E for cuddles. I don't have my machine gun bollocks. <laughs> I kind of need that right now. Stephen says dread feet Billy Butcher. Dread. Dread, dread every day. Dread every time. Dread's, dread's taken out a million people for hug for the Billy Butcher. Yeah, exactly. He does that shit for breakfast. <laughs> And keep it in mind, you know, <laughs> Garth Ennis yeah, wrote fact. Judge Dredd, Garth Ennis wrote The Punisher, Garth Ennis wrote Billy Butcher. Like, Billy Butcher is kind of a wacky, what? cockney Punisher, really, and he's put, and I like Garth Ennis a lot, but he's put a lot of fucking um, dread into those characters. I mean, Homelander has dread, Gunpowder has dread. Well, Exploding babies! I think the oh. real kick in the balls for Billy Butcher would be that Dredd would probably do him for um, offensive language. Yes. You know, he wouldn't even... He would just get cuffed up and chucked in a queue <laughs> for saying cunt. Too Not using the approved swear words such as Drock. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh. Ever see Fat Man and Little Boy with Dwight Schultz playing Oppenheimer? No, no shit, no shit. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I love shooting babies. <laughs> I love oh, shooting no. babies. Mr. HEC says, correction, I've been, he's taken out the billion people. Very much so. Several no, billion. They're not all harder than but, Billy Butcher, though. <laughs> that's, that's a... Yeah, he's taken out like a billion who are harder than Billy Butcher. A lot, of, the, a lot of those people um, that he took out in that billion were like asleep. But just normal guys. <laughs> yeah, people with boring jobs. <laughs> See, he'd done a genocide. And, you know, going back to the, the glory days of uh, Alan Grant and John Wagner. Request denied. Mmm. <laughs> oh fuck! That's the thing, and that's the problem. He makes he makes nuclear war cool. Because mm -hmm. you see, I think if I was in the position where there's a big red button and everyone was like, "Ivan, look, chill out," <laughs> like, yeah, but I could press it. That's my so favourite bit from that book. Eye. Hey, that's look, really Dredd, cool. chill out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because exactly, you would just want to say request denied, wouldn't you? Come on. Yeah. I didn't that's shoot the babies. Oh, I'm, I'm just shooting a bunch of kids in the school gym. <laughs> this feels... That is my favourite Billy Joel song. <laughs> yeah, it's the best one. <laughs> some bleachers for me to go under. Get some nursery music. This sounds not great. Oh, e e e e e e e e e e e e e Carl Urban's... Oh, lots of these. How horrible is Carl Urban's English Cockney accent? It is very horrible. Fucking dreadful. Oh, really it's bad. keeping with the story. Yeah, it's it's an insane world of What's crazy superheroes. Well, it's like every 
every time it's, what's worse is when they introduce his family and it's other it's like there were no british actors in la you could get to just you know what i mean because it's like the flashback of season three where they go to england land and it's like oh dear it's like everything's orange and you put some flock wallpaper up and, and call it a day but um do you know what i'd like them what i'd really like them to do mm. i'd like a little kind of backdoor kind of he talks his cousin Daphne who lives in Seattle <laughs> oh then you can have Brian Cox as his dad instead of that other bloke <laughs> oh no of course cousin cousin yeah, I apologize, I, I apologize. Uh, yeah then it's like okay it all makes sense now. It's, it's a weird weird phrase of universe where all <laughs> English people sound like they're marionettes or something. this is so yeah like they're even though Jerry Anderson was English, they're kind of weird Jerry Anderson puppet English people. <laughs> Come back to Manchester, Daphne! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's like Anthony LaPaglia, isn't it? It's her brother, but it's the guy who's her ex-boyfriend. He's like, oh, Daphne, go back to Manchester! I need to sweep a chimney! And it's just like, are you alright, mate? Do you need to sit down with some water? <laughs> oh, shit. It is. And it, it's just... It's so great, and it's never remarked on. <laughs> no, no. Know, it's this really erudite cosmopolitan sitcom. Yes, and yeah. All English people sound like that. <laughs> well, it, it, again, yeah, it's that kind of erudite English thing, uh, erudite kind of sitcom thing, but yeah, the English are all... D- like these dumb drunken dopes which is normally the thing that's reserved for the Irish stereotype right but it's like they're all kind of wonky thugs which makes a change to be fair for American yeah, sitcoms and Manchester Cockneys Manchester Cockneys well they don't yes, fucking I... know do they because at least Jane Leaves is doing a sort of a bit yeah. of a northern accent but like all the family are just like mm-hmm. but Mark said that like Mark if you've met Mark he's very fucking Welsh and like there was some bloke he met some American guy who tried to do Mark's accent and did like a Dick Van Dyke thing so I don't, you're like, why well, don't sound like that? Like, what the fuck? To a, to an extent, I don't mind that. Kind of... well, not that I don't mind it. I can understand it because, like, if there are American people in the chat, I'm sure you have an idea of what a Chicago accent is. I have no idea. But well, from, wa- from Wales, though, idea from like what Wales, the Chicago accent. Is. Confusing Wales with like a London accent. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, come on. Like, because I totally get, like you're saying, it's like. a big difference, definitely. An East Anglian accent to like a fucking, I don't know, a Birmingham accent. Okay, I get it, you know, because I see what you say about like Chicago. But it's also, there are ones that are so extreme, Americans. Just imagine this. Howdy, y'all. I'm from the Bronx in New York City. That is not. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? That's what you might as well be doing. Mm. And you see how bad that was? The, my bad attempt at a southern accent, but also mistaking it for new, <laughs> for the wrong place? That. It's that, basically. <laughs> oh, I, got, I don't have an objective. No, yeah. It was weird bit. I oh, know. Oh, nice. There's stuff everywhere. Oh my god, there's stuff everywhere. Okay. Uh, Francis says, My missus is pretty good at understanding UK accents. She fucking better be, mate, because she goes out with a scouser. <laughs> 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 hello, hello, Nick, if you're watching. I'm sorry you're stuck with the Scouser. You, you've bought the farm now, mate, so, you know. No, Frank will tell you he's he's not a Scouser, really. He's from uh, he's from God's own country, really. He's a Yorkshireman. Ooh. And everyone knows God's, God's own country. Is, yeah, you know, Yorkshire at just what's done. Mm. But, uh, God's but nevertheless, no, there you go. See Frank with the delay. He's straight in there saying Yorkshireman in the in the chat. That's a <laughs> that's a classic stream latency for you. Oh, James Little says Tom Hardy did a brilliant Welsh accent in an indie film called A Lock. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. You know, because oh, usually he just kind of mumbles. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. This is my voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently, he lives around here. 
It's supposed to live in Worthing or something. He lives on the south coast. <laughs> oh! Give him an Oscar. He's mumbling again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, I'm a bit mean to that. Mopey, no nothing. But, yeah. <laughs> that is my way. Mm -hmm. okay, Isaac. Ignoring the plot of this game and racing through, shooting things. <laughs> Hang on, Harrison Ford is 79. I don't believe that. I, I can, I can believe 80s, that. Though. He's at least 97. That's the thing. He was born at the time of the Hindenburg. <laughs> Did you know that Harrison Ford, as a young man, completed the Oregon Trail? Good God! <laughs> 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 he completed the Oregon Trail as a young boy. <laughs> he went. He went on the first. He went on the first aircraft for the Wright brothers. They, they, they paid him a silver nickel. I'm. I'm going to go back to radiation because. In a, in a weird way you reminded me there. I heard an awful story about, um, in Georgia, there are a bunch of people in the woods in winter, and uh, they're getting ready to camp for the night. And they found these big metal kind of blocks, mm. which were really warm. Mm. So they thought, hang on, let's uh, bring these to, let's with let's us fuck to these. our camp. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they'll have a fire, they'll have the big warm metal blocks, mm. and they'll be nice and toasty for the night. Um, turns out they were a type of nuclear battery. I was going to say, which, yeah. Uh, had, yeah, and, and this is in like, I think, 2001 or something. Mm. So it's Soviet nuclear batteries for an uh, antenna array that oh, people had torn, torn to shit years ago. Come on. And yeah, massive. You know, and they had no idea the next day, go back to their village, start vomiting, and blah blah blah. And it takes them, I think, about a week until they go to a doctor and go, oh, I think something's wrong with me. But, um. Yeah, I think. I think maybe two of them survived. But one of them had TB, so they couldn't treat him until he got over the TB. <laughs> Fucking and Jesus. so by that time... Yeah. <laughs> radical, radical chemotherapy for TB. I tell you what, I won't go into the... I won't go into the ins and outs of it, but... I think it was alive for over 500 days. And oh, man. There yeah. was a lot of him... A lot of him had left by the time he died. That's where, like, um, your, eye, your eyelids go translucent and shit like that, like... Yeah. So, Valverde PSA, if you find big glowing <laughs> metal cubes, and well, not glowing, very warm, mm. and literally hot to the touch, they couldn't pick them up with their hands. They had to, like, rig a thing to carry it. Do not touch them, and run away very quickly. Valverde and PSA. Yes. <laughs> There's a big problem with that. It happens all the time, man. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Get behind me, Satan. What the fuck? Hey, yeah. Run's always a good shout. Looks like an angry summon, so. Fuck. Yeah, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Oh my word. I've got faith of the heart. You've got faith to believe. Nothing's going to Brenda break me. Yes. Oh my god, <laughs> going in the middle. Let's see, I'll check if there's any, uh, any super clues in the chat. Okay. I just don't think I'm, I'm quite equipped for this. Hey, Ivan, says Stephen Allen, what do you think is the funniest UK accent? Anyone know how Duncan Funny is? Sorry, says Ian. Duncan's a... fine. I spoke to him just yesterday. Duncan's not dead or anything. Sorry, just to clean that up for Ian. 
Which is, which is what a guilty party would say, really, isn't it? I spoke to him yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I sound like David Miscavige talking about his wife. <laughs> he transferred his accounts to me. <laughs> he signed it's it all over yesterday. <laughs> he, he was very insistent that it was the best thing to do. Rocking, rocking new shed. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the word. We're going to get him a nice camera and some lights, and then we can get back on the watch parties. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh my god. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> this music's got a bit. Oh, you can't. I've got the music, but it's got a kind of Godzilla vibe. Dun 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 dun. Ooh. Oh, did he go down? Godzilla v Rangers. Godzilla v yeah, Rangers. He looks like he's down. Hey, snap. I'll take my money, thank you very much. There go. Alright then. Why did Tideman turn off the power? What did you do to piss him off so much? Oh, he did. Do you know what a worker is? Yeah, Sean, I quite enjoyed Stranger Things 4. Or. Why is it real? Yeah, it's real. Tideman made one using codes. Yeah. I quite like it. They're good fun characters, but what I really like about Stranger Things at its best is it creates a story where for the different characters they have a different kind of experience from, you know, monster movie to kind of poltergeisty thing, you know, they're, they're kind of different horror sci-fi tropes. Season 4, I don't think, does that too much until you get to the end, which I think was the only bit directed by the Duffer Brothers, oh, really? which does kind of do that. Okay. Yeah, well, th that's how I felt about it. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think they're fun characters, and I like spending time with them, and, and they brought in some new characters, and, and they were also quite lovable and cool. Um, but there's some gruesome shit in the... Four really? Because um, I haven't watched it. Yeah. Watched, like, so it's, a whole, it's a whole fucking giant Christmas cake I have to eat now, isn't it? This is the thing. Um, so I'd I need say to it's good fun. But I've yeah, had endless people tell me to watch it. Like, there's, so. Yeah, you know. If you don't watch it, it's not like you're missing some sort of revelatory thing. But we watched but it. We watched it all together. You've seen the other stuff and you enjoyed it. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah I it's mean, good fun stuff. Right, I don't know what's going on here. Do I shoot this? And it, it seems to have made a billion dollars for Kate Bush. It's really? Well, actually, though, because of all the. Because uh, did did yeah, those did that translate to up... sales? Like. Yeah, it got to number one in Britain. I think oh, wow. so. She has like a gap of forty years between number ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Uh, not for years, maybe. Uh, well, like close that. enough, I would imagine. Mm. Okay, this thing's but giving yeah, birth over even... here. Oh, but even today, I was watching the Charity Shield uh, football game, and at half time, well, Colin McLean says Duncan is probably stuck in a hole at Richard's place. Richard tells him it rubs the lotion on its skin, or it does, <laughs> or it does this whenever it's told. So OBS just disconnected there, guys. We're back now, I believe. It's buffering again. Fucking hell. Okay. We are back. We're back. Sorry, sorry, team. Oh, Ian McGar's never watched watched Stranger Things. Well, if it's passed you by, it's passed you by. You know. Yeah, I, it's not like I'll um, be like go and watch yeah. it all now. Like. Hmm. No, oh, Nectarine Dreams says Kate Bush should always be a fan of one. Yep. Kate Bush is awesome. I've, there's a few people I know who went to went on her last tour. Um, one guy, I think, him and his partner spent like 600 quid each for their tickets because they're mad Kate Bush fans. Right. Then another friend 
I think, got the tickets when they came out for him and his wife, you know, when they cost, like, 40, I don't know, you know, 40, 100 quid, something like that. Mm -hmm. So he, and it might have even been the final date. So they then, like, walk to the venue, and there's people with signs being like, I'll give you £5,000 for a ticket. Fuck <laughs> and, hell. Yeah. And he's like, he bought the tickets for his wife, and he's like, well, I could just, you know, tell her to go in and be like, look, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to sell my ticket. But he did go in. But that's, you know. Fucking hell, that's a lot of money. That's like, oh, I could do something with this amount of money. Yeah, and that's the thing with Kate Bush, because it is a deal of, like, she's never going to do this again. It's not, you know, it's not like seeing Rolling Stones on their final tour mm. and being like, oh, they're going to be back in two years. I'm going to buy a new gun, Ivan. That's what I'm going to do. Ooh. What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't chosen one yet. But is, it, is this the a big gun? Billy gun. Shock point, the shock point ripper. ripper. Shock point ripper. It's fucking shock point ripper, man. <laughs> Triage javelin gun. The chat, yeah. If anyone in the chat has any has any um, uh, experienced views on what what is the best gun, to pie off the plasma cutter and get the fucking oh, might have been upgrading shit. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get this sniper rifle type thing. That's very much my speed. Ooh. Yeah. The old snipper. But is it a good idea? Let's see. Uh... Oh, Nectarine Dream says apparently Kate Bush made $2 million for the whole Stranger Things thing. Damn. That's not bad. And yeah, yeah. Steve Kiss. Kiss were great for comeback and farewell to us. Oh my god. Because so. they, they're like insanely prolific Kiss as well. Haven't they? They've got like 72 albums or some shit. Like they've got some ridiculous amount of. <laughs> oh, the Soul of John just read up on the Leo radioactive accident. That's the Georgian one. Yeah. Uh... It, it is not pretty. Yeah. That and is... it's not the only Georgian one. There's another one about an army base. Oft. Mm. Yeah. Essentially, someone found some cool metal, put them in it, put it in his pocket, and um, it does not go well. As, as soon as you started saying they found some warm cubes, I was just like, no, no, <laughs> yes. no, 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 no. It's, it's scary how many radiation incidents happen around the world. <laughs> you know, it could be it could be way, way, way worse. <laughs> mm. But any any time it happens is terrifying. It's one time too many, right? Like, <laughs> mm. right where's the objective? No, Ryan Ricardo says the sniper rifle will come in handy. Oh, superb. I'm, qu I'm quite a fan of it already. I haven't even used it yet, but... Oh, I remember this bit. Does this not go down to a boss? We have to shoot cameras. Oh, yeah, the Grey Man movie. Has anyone watched that? The Russo Brothers. Well, on a Russo Brothers tip, I honestly, everything everywhere all at once, probably my favourite movie of the year so far, and that was produced by the Russos, but not directed by Or exec produced by the Russos. Mm. Uh, the the Grey Man, I'm sort of like, well... It's not a terribly interesting premise, honestly. You know, CIA guys hmm. do CIA stuff. Okay, alright, I mean, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, the whole premise stuff. If they'd focus more of the film on uh, Chris Evans has a moustache. Yeah! <laughs> okay. okay, this is. Oh, Jesus Christ. And when the moustache is on um, screen, people should say, Where's the moustache? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, hopefully I've got rid of the bot again. Fucking hell, they're all over us tonight. All over us like a cheap suit. I bought yeah. a new suit last week. It's exciting, Ooh. I haven't had a suit because of, cause of, you know, cause of the way my life is and also COVID. I just haven't had a suit for like, fuck knows how long. I've got a new suit, pretty exciting because I've got a wedding. Is it, is it for... It's one of the, it it's the orange, orange Dumb and Dumber suit. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah, I always kind of felt like I could have the orange one, you could have the blue one, but you know, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Have a nice frilly, uh, frilly collar. Yes, yeah, exactly. Where's my. 
And I see orange and blue. I'm not sure who that corresponds to. Well, in terms of Harry and Lloyd? Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it does really fast. I can't. It's not like yeah, that I. Hero. It's one of those things that. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you off the top of my head which is which. And that's a film that I really love as well. I fucking love Dumb and Dumber. It's amazing. Mm. Um, but I couldn't tell you which is which. I want to say that Harry is blue and Lloyd is orange, but we've probably got a fifty percent chance of getting it right, I suppose. Mm. Where's my? Well, that's the objective. Like this door. That's oh, I'm like supposed cutting. to smash the the fuel thing into it, I guess. Let's see. What's okay, Chad so the, Sam says he's never owned a suit. He's, yeah, I think if you go your whole life not own a suit, you live in the dream. But, you know, <laughs> that's just me. Because I just think, you know, I, I quite enjoyed not owning a suit, actually. But... <laughs> well, this sounds good already. Steve, Stephen Allen says, my granddad is a massive fan of Kate Bush. Granted, he's an old pervert and loved her <laughs> in the Babushka music video. <laughs> he's an old pervert! <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi Callum Chung. You're just Callum in time Chung. for old pervert. For old pervert talk. Okay. There's some sort of talk of Bjork. Funnily enough, I was talk talking about Dancers in the Dark today. Oh. Yeah, that was a really cool film. Or well, my, well, I haven't seen you know, it. Like I just think it's very brave of Lars von Trier to make a Bruce Springsteen jukebox musical. But you know, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's that that Lars von Trier, isn't it? Dance from the Dark. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah, Lars von Trier. It's the kind of because I, I just don't like Lars von Trier, and that's the one I seem to remember enjoying. Um, yeah, I, my memory of it is. It's the most normal Von Trier film. <laughs> well, it has all the kind of crazy but... ways to um, musical numbers, doesn't it? It has all the kind of big oh, yeah, musical yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's like really. a proper musical. It's the most kind of mainstream, you know, approaching Hollywood style. Because it's doing it on purpose. It has something to say about that. But... Mm. Yeah, yeah, I might, I might try and rewatch it. Because, um... yeah, because it took me a long time to watch it. Good <laughs> um, even though at the time that was kind of my cup of tea. Sean uh, Sean Northridge says, "Old pervert talk." Oh, I got a great one. Did I ever tell you about one of my first ones? I'm going to let you take that over, Ivan. If you look at the chat. Um. Okay. Sean um, Northridge. Sean Northridge. I've tell you the one about my professor when I went to college for animation. We did these acting classes. Okay, there we are. Oh, that's all I've got, so if I'm missing something... It's, it, it's, it's, no, I think it's it's coming. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh, Callum Chung says, Dance Around the Dark is the only movie by Von Trier I can say I really like. Yeah, I'm going to go with Callum on that. I'm not going to say really like, yes, but Andrew I enjoyed Kate. it. Hmm. Andrew K says Bjork was in The Norseman, and yeah, she's... Uh, yes, Andrew K. Norseman's good fun, and Bjork, I think, is really good in it, even if she's not in it a huge amount. Frank, Frank, so have you seen The Idiots? Oh. I've seen The Idiots. Uh... <laughs> yes, yes, I have. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting film. Um, yeah. yeah. It's a weird one. Not, not everyone's cup of tea. I well, you know, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it, it's Edgelord Von Trier. That's, yeah. yeah, I'm going to go back to Sean, so to recap, uh, my professor, when I went to college for animation, we did these acting classes. He'd do it to everyone, and eventually he got little down to three, including me, and one day he decided to do it to more guys, and one guy got, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I've missed. I think I've missed a message in this chat. Because um, sometimes I think the cat just kind of drops me out. With, uh, right. Something going on. So. Okay. So Sean, could you repost the one after we did these acting classes, if possible? Because I think I'm missing one. But if I'm not, just dumb. 
Okay. Well, Ian McGarr's taken over from weird. <laughs> weird <laughs> it's the Irish crew represent with uh, the weird pervert Ian teachers. Says, <laughs> Ian says, I remember in college the professor telling us to be wary of vulvas showing in tight clothes and model photos. It's distracting to the viewer. Well, you know, he's not wrong. He's not wrong, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you know, oh, distracting. distracting. <laughs> uh, the subject of uh, uh, I'm running out of air here. Okay, we're we getting air, we're we getting air. Breathe, Richard. Oh, I need it to breathe, man. They're so fucking inconsiderate, these space bastards. Okay. Is there a big pile of bubbles? <laughs> I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog style, just go and suck up the air. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those oh, fucking. Right. Oh my god, it blew me. Look at my spine's hanging out. Oh. That actually blew me hard. <laughs> Jesus, alright. <laughs> Most unfortunate. I think, Ivan, that we'll wrap at 11. That's, okay, that's cool. a solid three hours of Dead Space 2 action. So, guys, have you got any burning questions? <laughs> Sean Northridge, Tildy, our gay acting teacher, got caught being a creep. Didn't realise the whole class would immediately join forces against his weird shoulder rubs. Oh, the shoulder rubs, classic. Uh, shoulder rubs was the bit I was missing in the story, yeah. Omar's off. Because got to... Prof Sorry to interrupt oh, you. Oh, you are fine, lad. Take care, sir. Yeah, shoulder rubs. The classic creep move. Weird world of higher education, mm. you know. And especially in the kind of art sector, I think uh, mm. there's there's a lot more kind of leeway for people to kind of go, oh, you know. It's part so, uh, of, you know, it's just part of how we do things. Do you remember a certain, teach, a certain physics teacher in our school with thick glasses? <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I could name him because he's probably fucking... Oh, piss at it again. <laughs> I could name him because he's probably dead. But um, I'm not going to for safety's sake. He was, he was definitely creepy. Creepy as shit. Yeah. Loved a shoulder mm. rub of a young girl. Mmm... Doesn't make me sad at all to remember that. Oh wait, no, it definitely does. It was really sad. <laughs> oh my god, is that another fucking bus bomb? Are they on the ceiling as well? Okay, fine, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, Isaac's in a bad way. Got to check out that sweet rig. Check out my sweet rig. Ooh, ooh. Callum Chung says, my old science teacher once kissed a student on the head in the ah. middle of class. Don't be kissing that's, people's kids. Fuck! Okay, Callum. Well, look at I my bum's flopping around. Ooh, look at geez. my bum. <laughs> look at my bum. You're in bits. He had a double femur. Now, Callum. <laughs> There's two bones sticking out. I don't want to. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Callum, I don't want to defend the teacher, but was there possibly a venomous spider on the student's yeah. forehead? Which the teacher heroically was trying to kiss heroically off. trying to suck the the poison out of a bite maybe, <laughs> and yet they've been victimised. Another great man destroyed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I want to catch up with Ian. <laughs> Ian Bagar, my dad went for a haircut a while back. And your man cutting his hair started massaging his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. He keeps going on about the molester barber of Kildare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fucking... Ian, I've missed you, man. He's got the best way of phrasing this shit. It always <laughs> fucking cracks me up. The molester barber of Kildare. And Stephen... <laughs> well, if I like, Kildare's kind of Tato land country. Was oh, it? And I think, yeah, but Tato Land is going to be rebranded, which I think should be uh, count as treason. <laughs> but, you know, what what's happened to Tato? We'll see. Is, what, the, Tato pulled out. Uh, Tato? Tato still exists, but I think they just want to call it a zoo or some shit. And it's like, well, you know, that's unacceptable. I... People want to go to Tato Land. I might have. Did did we watch the? <laughs> So Ivan was here uh, a while back. Did I get you to watch the video about the Garfield ride? Yeah. 
Very yeah. Good. So this is like okay. So there's a channel called Defunct Land, which my friend Nick showed me when he was visiting from he's like over visiting from Vietnam. And uh, Defunct Land is all about old rides and stuff. And it turns out the first ever Tunnel of Love was at this place in America, this theme park, the first ever Tunnel of Love. And it was basically, you know, they don't see it in the video, but it was basically a fingering hotspot. And um, mm. and there's, I watched the video, but it br it was briefly rebranded as a Garfield ride, like the original Tunnel of Love. Oh, for the love of Pete, these fucking mind things. It was briefly rebranded as the Garfield ride. And, um... There's loads of people that got really up in arms about it because it's like that's where they had their first blowjob or whatever. And there's a bunch of people who were like, we used to straight up get out of the cars and have sex and like our first son was conceived on that ride and now we can't countenance it because it's a Garfield ride. Um, but it was like the original Tunnel of Love. It's re really like culturally interesting, I think. Mm, yeah, no, it's very weird. And yeah, so such kind of long running history. Mm. Defunct Land, if you're interested, really great channel, Defunct Land. Okay, we've got a lot of, lot of sad, <laughs> sad education stories. <laughs> oh God, um, we've Aston just says, I took a break from construction on my skin suit for this. <laughs> but, um, I met Simeon. Mr. HEC. Oh. Uh, Simeon uh, stopped me because Simeon and I are Facebook friends. Uh, hi, Simeon. I was walking through bloody, uh, I was walking through Churchill Square in Brighton. Like, it's like the Grafton Centre, Ivan, but in Brighton. Um, get, to get hyper local on everybody, and um, yeah, Simeon was was there, and uh, waving at me, and I thought, who's this guy? He's not waving at me, and he was waving at me at Simeon. I still, still had a chat to Simeon, so hi, Simeon. So yeah, oh, sorry, I just, cool. thought, I just will give Simeon a shout because he's a local guy. Shout out to Simeon, but now a bit of a. I caught my art teacher going out with the sixth former in town. Dead serious, Mr. HEC. Bad Francis, my form chooser used to drop pencils for young girls to pick up in front of him. Oh uh, Soul of John, I was asked if I wanted to go for a drink with my English teacher when I was 16. As I was, really a, as I was a really passionate student, I declined. Uh. Um, Frank says he was known as Pervy Dave. <laughs> Pervy um, Dave. Stephen Allen, I got smacked in the head with a newspaper off my art teacher. One of the girls in my class was dating a 28-year-old. She was 15. Well, I, I think we had someone at our school who uh, was... An unnamed PE teacher probably... who shared features with Tintin. Oh, no, well, I'm... Well, yes, but I'm also <laughs> thinking someone in our... Someone in our year who was going out with someone who was about 28 or 30. Oh, God. And I think they were 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, crazy guy. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Do I have to... Kieran Fremantle, a teacher in my school, was sentenced for... Wow, okay. For abducting a 14-year-old girl. I'd left the school by the time it happened. Um, yeah, I didn't I didn't read ahead on that one. Um, Kieran made a film I was about... Halfway uh, through. Kieran made a film about a girl being abducted, as I remember. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. Teach, yeah. Gross dark teacher shit. Bad vibe ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're ending in nine minutes and uh, it went all pedo y. Real pedo, real quick. Okay. I've been, I've been Resident evil inside some laser blades. Look. Stephen Allen says, Richard, you have to drag the corpse there. Yeah, so I did that to get through this door. I don't know if oh, I still, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, still have it's on the lag. Oh, no, it works. Yeah, I bought... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you can just drag objects. Okay, yeah. fine. It hurt me, but... Okay, no no more teacher stories are being read. <laughs> good, out. good. You're, well, you're welcome to put them in there. We've... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, look! Hey, look! This is this is a libertarian society. <laughs> you guys, you guys want to discuss? I think awful stories. we've crossed That's the, the we, we've crossed the pedo Rubicon. You know what I mean? I think we've done that now. It's, like, it's all good, but it's not a way to finish a stream. It's not a way <laughs> it's to just finish kind a stream. Of it's just kind of sad. Into the of madness, I go off and yeah. it, go eat after this and just be like, oh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's kind of sad um, now. Stephen, I do enjoy Garth Marenghi a lot. It's oh, hell oh, yes. what my favourite quote. 
Uh, I know Rose has seen your subtext, but they're all cowards. Oh fuck, oh, oh fuck, uh, I didn't do the thing. Bollocks. Got blowed up. Or squished up? Ooh, squished up. <laughs> Mr. HTC says anyway, back to 9 11. Uh, Simeon uh, Aston says, was great been... to meet you, Richard. Would have loved to have chatted longer, but I'd just been shoplifting in Anne Summers. <laughs> <laughs> Metal Thrashing hey, Matt. Hi, Evan Richard. Good to see you both. Aston. Oh, hey there. But yeah, Aston, to be fair, if you want an excuse, ju you just have to say you had to do a big poo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, you know, that, that gives you carte blanche and Valverde. <laughs> exactly. It just, it just means everything to us, so... Right, I'm gonna save. But oh, hey, 43 in the chat. Thank you. Hey, 44 in the chat. Turn out tonight. Thank you Thank all you so much. for yeah hanging out with us, and uh, it's it's always a joy to do. Because yeah, they're always it's, fun. They're it's always a nice fun. fun community. We always have a lot with these. Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save, and then we got like seven or eight minutes left, and I'm gonna go. Throw, put the game away, and we'll just go over to full screen, and we can just chat for a little bit, and then we'll wrap up about it. Okay, so Isaac. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Isaac's fucking off. Fuck off, Isaac. Um. It's all of John Peter. Hmm. Yeah, Ivan's in the corner now. <laughs> what have you just read? It's something you don't want to read out. <laughs> there you go. Well, we're going to hang on. It happened. It happened. You know. Um, <laughs> no, we loved doing these. This is the, this was the big casualty of moving out of Cambridge. Is like Ivan and I could just like on a Saturday just go. Do you fancy doing one tonight? Oh, Ivan's muted. Sorry, you're muted because of the changeover. Ooh. I apologise. You're back now. Oh, of course. Scenes. I changed Don't worry. Scenes. You didn't. No, no, I didn't. Um, you didn't miss out anything. Uh, anything too enlightening. Apart from Stephen, I was talking about Zappa as you asked it, but. It's all good. Um, yeah, it's good. And, you know, it's nice when people say that the the streams have helped them out because, yeah, we always, you know, all of us use some dumb idiots on YouTube to help us get through stuff. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's, it's nice to take Sometimes part. Sometimes it's these idiots. Uh, yeah. You know, I think the 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 look the because we, we did um the th the first streams when I was just figuring out how all this works was when Resident Evil Two came out and I was laid up with a broken leg. I did so many. I did every variation I think of completing that game and then classic. Was some you were there, some you weren't. But um, this was more or less a lockdown trend, wasn't it? The older streams, um, which was a, a good. You know, I think that's hmm. where it really took off is when we were doing them over lockdown. Um, quite often just have a phenomenal amount of fucking booze, <laughs> and then it's, you know that was a big casualty of me moving away. Yeah, lockdown, lockdown led to everyone going crazy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's probably done both of us a fair bit of good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our livers are bouncing back. Yeah, that's true. You know the green shoots of recovery in my in, in my endocrine system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh fuck so yeah we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap up at um at 11 i just spent this week ivan plumbing in these lights you see no oh. channels with diffusers and I, I spent um i spent some time plumbing these in this week i'm very happy with them i see ian ian likes my my pro stream and ian glow shell as he as he put it um <laughs> <laughs> no yeah look nice and nice yeah Pretty good, pretty good. As you can see, I've got a nice blurry white uh, border I, just going I on here. In the, uh, in the blur dome. He lives inside Depth of Fear. Yep. That's where he is. He's tra trapped inside <laughs> Depth of Fear. For well, to be fair, 
this has been quite good because usually when I'm on video calls, it's during the daytime and I've got a south facing window. So it's always just super dark. Mm. Um, so no one can see me. So <laughs> yeah, just to got the opposite in. now where I'm nice and washed out. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the other end. I think I get the sun first thing in the morning, but I'm kind of aiming to provide my own light as much as I can. Um, because I'm using mm. like a black magic as a fucking webcam, but I do that sometimes. If someone's like interviewing me for a job as a GOP, I'm like, well, I better put a nice lens on and light it properly. And then you can come on Skype like this and be like, oh, it's like this all the time. I just turn on a webcam and it turns like this because I've got talent radiation, which is a lie. But they don't know that. It's been just ages lying. Special up. camera magic. Special camera magic, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I mean, that is the NECA Ed 209, which I think they've just reissued or something. Um, there it is. It's a very but sweet model. They keep trying to sell them to me and I bought one. I bought that. Like I bought that when I worked at Studio Cambridge, so I bought that like seven years ago or something. I've got his little wee. Uh, mm. I've got his wee, his wee cousin here, which I think is also a. I can't remember what brand this is, but like I had the little wee guy. Maybe I should put them together so it looks like they're father and son. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, try to look around to see if I've got anything entertaining to show, but to I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, everything, everything in uh, in uh, ooh, or. I've got a nice. Can that focus Ooh. in? A nice. Oh no, it cannot focus in. It's because I've got the blur background. Oh, it won't recognise it as a that. human. That's why. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's some sort it's of. Huge. It's an Eth It's an Ethiopian painting. I think about the Magi who visited Jesus, but it's not about Jesus. There's a man with a goat and a crocodile in a hole. The man feeds the goat. The goat comes out of the crocodile's mouth. Um, they all kind of stand in front of a bed. All kinds of things are going on. <laughs> it sounds very complex. nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I've got no idea what the story is, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm very fond of it. I <laughs> I mean, I should have expected that from you, to be honest, as a description. <laughs> but here we are, I suppose. Um, I, 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 I... Oh, Frank says, thoughts on the up upcoming Robocop game trailer? Well, Frank, you know, it's made by the people that made Terminate Resistance, which I like very much. And they've clearly had, they clearly had um, 10 grand to give Peter Weller, didn't they? Obviously. So he, because he's come and done the voice. Nuts. I mean, I look, man, fucking, um, it's the Terminator game is great, and people slag that off. And dude, a bunch of guys made it on the cheap in Poland. Like, I think the Robocop game is going to be great, but people are going to go, people are going to want to review it like it's fucking Far Cry Nine, when in actual fact it's a kind of budget game. I think it's going to be great. I really like Terminator Resistance <laughs> so much. I like Terminator Resistance so much. I do. The fucking love chat cancer are back again. Jesus Christ, okay. I've already reported him. And what what else well, I mean, do I need to do? When you start getting uh, sex sex adverts. Would you like have you tried have you thought about sex? Have you tried sex? <laughs> New sex. The chicken promoting hack. Uh yeah, it, 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 Yeah, but Weller being yeah, Frank, involved. Oh, Frank, geez. I know you like the Terminator game, right? It's a fucking good game. Like Frank knows what I'm talking about. Like he is a chicken promoting hack. Like I know firsthand from projects that Peter Weller just has a minimum amount of money he'll take. <laughs> Sorry. Um <laughs> it's Lynn, these are sex parts, says John Brisink's microwave. See me and Aston Mars at school, my friend Billy met Peter Weller in America and he let him wear the Robocop suit for a day. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic oh fuck okay well look I did say 11 we're going to wrap up we'll wrap up thank you all for coming we love you it's been a, a great uh, reuniting of Ivan and I he's, he's turned to a big lad again so I'm going to make Ivan's a big lad I'm a big, big special boy make me big for the princess <laughs> make me big for the princess <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a that's a Super Mario Maker right. uh, reference. Yes. I, I just feel like uh, I feel like Skype rubbed your tummy to make you a big special boy. 
Oh yeah, do that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to rub the top of my head and you make my picture bigger. Okay, start now. Okay, uh, I'll blow on my I'll blow on my thumb. (laughs) (laughs) He's such a big special boy. Oh my word! He's such a big, special, uh, such a big special boy. <laughs> Look at that big special boy! <laughs> oh fucking hell! Okay, <laughs> I just saw that oh, playback. I enjoyed I that very that much. <laughs> <laughs> Need to make a gif of that. Okay, I'm going to throw over to the time card. <laughs> Ivan, I'd love to. Please do come back. Do come yeah. yeah, no, it would be nice, nice to get on. So indeed. we do a bit of dead space. I'd probably come back and finish, <laughs> finish, quote unquote. Um, I think it might be quite fun if we did Simpsons Hit and Run. I very nearly, I very Ooh. nearly said to you, do you want to come and do Simpsons Hit and Run? I thought, no, let's have a bit of consistency with um, dead space because I started that and I feel like we've done all these horror games and it's in the right wheelhouse. But um, I think maybe, history, I don't know. I was thinking, I was just thinking that. So got to make Simpson spooky. Spooky. We got Resident Evil 4 remake's going to come back at some time. Spookies. So, and spooky goblins. Mm. Um, it's been uh, Ian McGowan wants to see <laughs> Simpsons. Uh, yeah, all right, guys. Look, it's been amazing. It's been so good to get the band back together. Like you know, it's been wicked. So I'm going to throw it to the title card, Ivan. Uh, anything? Uh, anything to say before I chuck away to the title card? Uh, it's been a joy to spend time with you all and Richard, as usual. Uh, take care, everyone, and pancakes. pancakes. <laughs>